previously in the God Breaking, our party of awakened heroes traveling through um, the celestial plane of Elysium, um, encountering um, the remnants of a horrible uh, war, or in better terms, a horrible slaughter. As the angels and gods uh, folded before the oncoming uh, waves of demonic and devilish hordes led by Asmodeus um, years ago. And now you guys are there. Um, the, the plane is, for the greater part, deserted. Um, some roving packs of demons remain, remnants and after effects of the war, along with a few angelic creatures. You travel the plane of, of Elysium along with um, Achelia, the um, the newly christened goddess of magic. Still weak and fledgling in her abilities, um, she barely can, can hold her portfolio together um, while while manipulating and, and acting in real in the real world. Um, you guys were traveling along the. Let's see here. You guys are traveling along the base of Mount Celestia, right here where the little line is, making your way from Torm's Vigil to Tears Vigil. And there, um, in that narrow stretch um, where Elysium drew close to the foot of Mount Celestia, you found yourself um, passing through the remnants of of a spiritual plane, a pla a place where um, the 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 s some souls of lost creatures in the war, um, the creatures that had perished in the war had been trapped, and um, because they were very powerful, some still had the ability to influence the um, the the living realm. And along the way, you felt a couple of you felt yourselves um, become swayed and tempted by the demonic influence there. Um, new and aberrant thoughts began to enter your mind, um, and Elwyn and Renly began to act out um, in ways much um, unbecoming to their their characters. Um, confusion ensued as uh, Elwyn. And Renly both turned hostile eventually, um, striking out at their at their friends, and even at Achelia herself. Um, the fight cli um, climaxed as Elwyn plunged a dagger into Achelia's heart, and um, and you guys basically just let loose on each other. Eventually, figuring it out though, you managed to dispel the demon's influence, or the g g demon ghost's influence, and return your friends back to normal. And as you did that, um, you were also able to use one of your newly blessed chimichangas, um, a, a limited resource for, sh for certain, um, but you used one to, rev to um, bring Achelia back and to heal her. Uh, and then shortly after that, you, came through, you, you passed through this darkened area of, the, of Elysium and made your way completely to Tears Vigil, where you were able to see it. So you guys approach Tears Vigil, and this is what you see. The ground is darkened, um, as if the life and the light had been drained out from it. Um, and at the base of Tears Vigil, at the pedestal that uh, upon which it rests, or upon which the the orb fl hovers, you see um, a beautiful golden-haired angel. Um, her wings um, uh, formerly formerly brilliant, her, her, her clothing formerly white, but now um, uh, muddied and um, tarnished. Um, she is on her on her, she's lying prone before the 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 vigil itself, leaning up against it, half of her, half of her, her, her upper torso basically leaning against it. Her arms stretched across it, um, and you see large shackles wrapping around her, her wrists and her, and her body, chaining her basically to the vigil itself. 
Okay. She looks alive, but greatly weakened. You guys approach the vigil. Um, you are, you're still quite a ways back. Um, Akelia still, still weakened, manages to, um, to 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 weakly mutter, "Not right. Be careful. Something is not right here." Where? What? What do you sense? Magic. Magic itself, great, great influences in this area. <sighs> should, should we keep our distance? She says, yes, please, please proceed cautiously. That, that angel is not the only being here. Alright, uh, I will roll a nat 20 perception roll to look and see it. Did you roll a nat 20? <laughs> no, get out of here. Yeah. I was calling it before it happened. It's definitely gonna happen. So this is this is the face of the the, the golden haired angel, um, shackled to the the vigil. So you're looking around. Mm. Okay. You see that. Um, okay, with a twenty nine. The um, the life of Elysium is in, it, it can be seen in every rock and plant and uh, natural fixture. They um, the the golden strands of light uh, just weave their way through um, the ground and the rocks and the and every blade of grass. Here though, it's like they've been they've been the, the light has been drained away, um, and and just looking at the patterns of you see faint faint remnants of light um, and they're and and um, as uh, but they're drawn they're drawn away from away from the the angel away from the vigil um, in the direction you know uh, somewhere nearby but it's it's behind on the opposite side of the vigil um, you see them like moving and flowing back that way past further beyond the vigil s shortly before um, beyond the vigil does it look like it's just like not coming in towards the vigil area or like it's being absorbed into something it's like it's like it's passing away from everything here, including from from the angel herself, um, in that direction. Is there a way we can like uh, go around uh, the vigil and maybe trace the drain to the school? Um, you're gonna circle around it. Um, I do ask Akalia if there's a, a way to go around it, like um, if she can navigate it past. Yeah, it's 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 a pretty it's a pretty um. It's a pretty open plain around here. Um, other than the vigil in itself, you know, there there aren't many. There's a few trees past it, be, um, behind it, but they've they've grown dark. And the um, um, so 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 um, you know, you, you, you go back there, and let's say there's a few, there's, there's a handful, two or three trees behind the vigil. Um, you, Kelia gives you guys a wide berth, and you start moving around that direction, a, 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 a pretty large radius around it. I'll stay near Akelia. Okay. Does the worry. pattern of like drainage continue past uh, the vigil? If there's like a path going behind, continue onwards? Okay, so this is... Alright, let me delete this stuff here. Okay. So, if like the vigil's here, right? Uh, you guys are, um, you, you can see, and there, there's a couple trees back around here behind the vigil. The vigil itself is pretty large. Um, then there's a, like a platform that it's sitting on. It's not as large as Torm's vigil, um, but you can you, you gather that each vigil is distinct in, in its 
and the way it's manifested. You guys kind of swing around this way, around that way, and you, you, you look around that way. And as you do, um, you, you begin to see the trees, and you can see the flecks of light moving in the direction, and just, just faintly wisps of them, um, moving away from the angel itself, flowing from the ground and from from all the from from the area around, just like that, just moving in this direction. The otherwise, this is a fairly open plain. So it definitely seems like the trees are kind of sucking it in, or or something nestled within the trees or near the trees. Are those trees like natural to this, or indigenous to this plain? Like, have you seen trees like that around this plain as you've been traveling through it? Yeah, yeah, you've seen their like. Um, they they are they are dark. Um, the ones that you've seen are bright and, and golden. Um, actually, f f pretty similar. Uh, now that you 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 look at them close more closely, they do look like um, uh, ambrosia trees, but just darkened. Or perverted in some way. Hmm? Are there any leaves nearby? Like I remember, Ambrose said that. Um, you know, if, I, if you were to look for him, to just look for some of his leaves, uh, the acorn leaves, and um, if we are slowing down, I would keep an eye out and see if there's something around nearby. All right, roll, um, roll, uh, roll a d20. All right. Okay. Um... Roll a perception check now. Would I okay. be able to also do a perception check <laughs> so these trees and shit? <laughs> these Moving along the ground, you, you see, like, like you notice that the that the trees have the uh, the the leaves are f have withered and fallen off, like like trees late into the the autumn. So there are a few remnants of, tr of, of leaves still on the trees, but a lot of them have are on the ground or have scattered away. Um, other than that, you're not really able to tell much. None of the none of the leaves on the ground are have life in them. They're all they're all lifeless and dead. They must be notice anything. Uh, yeah, I see the trees leaves are like kind of more dead. I, I noticed that too. Maybe it's a tornado and see if it I don't know if it does. <laughs> it's not a one. <laughs> um, I, I, I might actually turn into a moon, moon site mm -hmm. um, and try to just like tap into moon site's knowledge of trees in I general. I will give you a, a guidance because that <laughs> D4 means business at this level. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, yeah, I'm. I I have a feeling Moonsight may have never actually seen this sort of tree before, like uh, that's indigenous to this plane. But at the same mm -hmm. time, um, it might still be more aware of uh, how these sorts of things work on different planes. So maybe it has no idea, like you know, why these are darkened versus other trees, and whether it's been perverted or corrupted or um, been changed, or if this is just a different type of the same tree. Okay, roll a nature check. As Moonside. Oh, okay, hold on. Let me find Moonside. There we go. And what check is. Nature is okay. Not the glory. Okay. Then, <la> <laughs> Lives today. <laughs> I'm glad I'm getting this out of the way now. Oh God. Okay. So, um, 
As you approach, uh, and Moonscythe looks baffled, as baffled as you are. All you can de all you can determine is that the life, like like we said, is, is has been drained out of these things. Um, and the flecks of of light pulling in from this area are still moving that direction. There's not a lot of them. There's just a few slight, like slender streams heading in that direction. Um, as you guys are approaching and circling around, though, you do notice that there is movement um, amongst the trees. Um, a few of the branches branches shake, and the whole and the trunk of one shudders and, and sways. Um, in Achilia, uh, do, do you notice if we were to, these are normal trees or like demon trees, or they seem really weird? Kelly looks at you and says, "They, they are, are trees of ambrosia, but it seems the life has been drained from them. There's something in this area that has." That is permeating this 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 plane with with arcane power and 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 weavings, but also draining the life from from the ground and the and and nature itself. And oh, that poor angel! She she's she's feeding her very life force into whatever it is that's taking it. She just if points in the... It, Go on. Based off of everything connected to the ground, Galia, like, would, would being in the air help? Could we perhaps lift the angel up and would it help? Or is it just... She, she, uh, she shakes her head a little bit. She says, I'm sorry, I... I feel very weak still. I, I, I don't know. Um, yeah. I, I would... I, perhaps you could move closer with caution, but... That's movement. I, it seems as what that, whatever it is, is active. Uh, I get you. <clears throat> um, I will put on my excavating hat. Mm -hmm. I think it's time for us to explore. I jump off then towards the trees. <laughs> So hard. <laughs> All right. I say eagle. Because I'm riding on his back. And yeah, so uh, <laughs> just to make sure I can, keep, I can be fast enough if something happens, I'm like, like we need these things to run fast in the Deimos world. That could make you bigger and faster, Deimos. No, it's impossible. No, it's not. It's impossible. Nope, I'm the biggest. Look at my opponents. They're so much smaller. Alright, one second here. So, what happens is that as you rush forward... One second. Tweaking something here real quick. Oh, hey, Renly. Mm -hmm. the, the token seems to be busted in the mod. Nah, uh, okay, no worries. <coughs> Okay. But other than that, everything seems to be working fine. That's the same mod that you sent, the same version of it that you sent me a while ago. The second one that you sent me. So I don't know if it's the most up to date. Yeah, it's been updated since then. Um, but all the only problem is it's not reverting the token in the combat tracker, which ain't a big deal. Okay. All right, demo. So you, so you're here. Mm -hmm. You are jumping out. Rushing in that direction, mm -hmm. um, and Elvin as you, <laughs> Elwin's on his back. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. The two of you rush forward towards the tree line. As you do. Okay. I need both of you to roll me a d20. Good. That's as they as they do that, are yeah, we in know. the are we in the cart thing? Yeah. The sled? Yeah. Yes. I'll hop out of the cart opposite of the side they hopped out, and I'll turn into Nebularis just in case. Okay. Can you go ahead and apply that to yourself? Yeah. Or do you need me to do it? I got you. Oops. Okay. Deimos, um, you rush forward, and as you do, um, uh, actually both of you rush forward, and blasting out from from amongst trees, um, you see them them get 
thrown apart and rising up um, from in them is a is a is a pretty large uh, creature, hideous and um, enraged, um, broken chains and um, falling from its side, um, blazing light just kind of like barely contained within this torso. Um, the creature emerges from behind the tree line. That's about a shame. Hey, Renly. What are going to have to do to you, mister? Hey, Renly, what are you going to use to turn into a chrome dragon? Mm, wild shape? You, you can wild shape into dragons? Yeah. Oh, that's... That's, that's kinda... part of my, um, thingy. Um, okay. No, I thought you were going to use shape change, and I was going to offer to polymorph you, because I can only lose concentration on a one. Ah, uh, no, this is my wild shape. Okay, cool. And and All I right. would I would try to get Achille on my back if I fly up. Okay, so you're turning you're turning into a dragon. Yeah, the chrome dragon. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to get Achille and maybe away from the ground. I'm not sure if the ground might be affecting. Are there chrome dragons in the DMG? Or in the monster yeah, manual? Um, chrome. Be I don't think they are in the five E monster manual, but they are a D and D dragon though. Hmm, what would they be close to? Silver, maybe? Yeah, uh, silver, yeah. Let's call it that. Uh, yeah, if you like dragons, Midas, I'll get you a book, because they have a, this book that adds in, like, all the, like, gym dragons and shit like that, too. Okay. So, wait, so I drag, I drag the... How do I... So, I'm trying to drag, drag the... the... dragon head onto her token on her character sheet. But it has to be considered a beast, so you have to edit that. Oh. Alright, well, I'll just do that. Okay, Renly, so you are, that's your chrome dragon. Yay, thank you, thank you. Okay, and Adis, you are a form of Nebularos? Yeah. Okay. Kind of like here. We'll say Akelia is here-ish. Alright. So this creature bursts forth from the ground, and there's an incredible roar um, that that permeates the air. Um, it it moves in a shaky kind of um, um, unbalanced motion, and it and it, it, sh it shambles forward, and you hear its its bellowing voice come across, uh, just just rage and um, and garbled unintelligence. Um, but in somewhere in in between, um, it's 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 utterances and it's um it's uh fomenting you know um you hear you hear um you hear a, a stark warning um in in abyssal it's it it's cries out i yell out why is there something <laughs> scarier than you here Bless you. What is it saying? <sighs> Anyone I'll, I'll understand? Say, I'll, I'll say back in. I'll say back in uh, abyssal to it. I kill gods too, so let's do this. I was like, what's your favorite part of your body that you would say most represents you? Uh, Deimos. Uh, he said he wants to step on you, and can understand what he's saying. Akelia, what is he saying? Uh, he says, uh, <laughs> he he says, says run, run away, flee the wrath of God killers. Ooh, look at me, let me be still a man. If your chest looks off or shaggy, it'd be a real yeah, shame if I go up into it. We have Deimos, the God killer, with us. <laughs> All right. Okay, so you guys, you guys approach. Go ahead and roll initiative. Bad. I always like possibly think about trying to get like a magic the gathering like cool pictures like this. Is this a magic the gathering picture? I don't think this one is, no, but I always assume like it's like a lot of the same art style. Like I'd never take it seriously, but I'd, I'd buy like a stupid random deck. I had a uh I had a friend uh, in middle school, his mom was an artist for Wizards of the Coast. Oh that's pretty legit. All right. Um, can I? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. What you call it? That I want to spark that. Okay. Open the world to 
guess, but I got a three. So my initiative is 42. Okay. <laughs> Wait, you just get an extra three rounds, right? Before we start? Wasn't that how we work the in, in, the thingy on in it? <clears throat> Did we? With the sparks? Yeah, it was it was like if you if you roll two then you get two rounds before initi initiative starts. Roll three, it's three. If it's one, it's like one extra. I I, I don't even remember now. <laughs> uh, did we do that? Know. We might have. Um, we did that during Malcolm Death. So, uh, <laughs> that's what I remember. We just oh yeah, that's right. Just once. Yes. I think Adis did it. Yeah, because I did the same thing. I sparked my initiative and got like a fifty or something. <laughs> okay, well, you we'll say extra round at the top of the round. All right, yeah, we'll call. We'll. I'll. I'll. I'll give you first initiative, and you get one round first. Okay. That's sweet. Is, is the light going toward this dude? Yes. I'll be like, oh, that's really cool. Well, dude. actually, roll roll perception check. Okay. Um, I have a passive perception of twenty six. Okay. Yes, the light is going towards this dude. Okay. I'll be like, in the whistle. I'll be like, hey, dude. That's that's really cool, bro. Um, right. He's he's, rom he's he's shuddering forward, and, and you can see him swaying awkwardly. His um his his the motion of his body seems awkward. Seems um you know just there's something off about the way he moves and sways in the in the non-existent wind. Like he's injured, okay. or that he's. A newly born creature. Like, do we have any insight as to what? Um, roll perception check. Alrighty. So, Renly, to you, it doesn't. It doesn't seem to be like like it's coming from an injury or anything like that. Um. It almost seems as if it's being swayed by forces that you can't see. Slightly, it's like like a like it, 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 it would tilt backwards, like it was being hit by a, by you know like a like a strong wind, but you don't feel any wind. Could that it kind be of thing. In, like energy waves, like coming into it, like being absorbed into it, or in the in the brief moments you have before it reaches you guys, that's all you can tell. Okay. So Adis, you get one round, and then you get um, you get one round extra. All right. I will fly up in the air a little bit, and I'll be like, "Hey, dude, in Abyssal, that's really cool trick you got there, bro, with the light and everything. Here, how about you check out mine?" Um. So. Okay, what are you I doing? Don't know what that means? I don't know if that what that means for this my gravitic breath. Okay, so it still fails. Still fails. Yeah, it still fails. Okay. It has so to succeed both. I'm putting it right in his midsection. So that will literally swallow his entire form. I think. Or pretty damn close. Okay. You focus your gravitic breath in his core. As you do, um, you can see the darkness accumulate, sucking in the light that's blazing out of its torso. Um, f the light flickers for a moment inside its chest um, as the darkness concentrates, and you can you can see the air and the dust particles around him being just collapsing into his torso. Um, but even though there's effects on nature, you can see some leaves and the trees around him being pulled in. A couple branches get sucked away, um, and the air and the dust and and that's um, that's that's around him. You can see it getting modified by this by this. Um, this mini miniature black hole that you've created, um, and light itself begins to, to um, get drawn into it for a brief moment. Um, his frame, his torso is unaffected. Ooh, tough sucker. All right. So that didn't work, y'all. Yeah, you're still one one round ahead of us. It's like we yeah, one more round because you're you're top of initiative now. Okay, so <laughs> top. I don't get my breath back. Um. Uh, nope. All right, so this is 
fifth level. Let's try this out. Yep, I'm just gonna do this just for fun. See if it works. I will cast True Polymorph on him and turn him into a rabbit. Damn. Okay. No effect. Renly, your turn. <clears throat> That's all I get. And I fly up in the air. Um, that's my movement. So yeah, like I think my move was like a hundred and fly. So I'll go like fifty feet up in the air. Okay. <clears throat> Renly, I'm actually. I'm going, going to, to move. Um, I will go somewhat around with the Kalia, um, and go around there um, with my AD move. I'm up in the air, but I'm also trying to get a look, see at this creature, and okay. based off what just happened with with Adith and the weird breath, did he just disappear? Yeah, give me one second oh, here. I'm I'm I'm, I'm altering. Did everyone just disappear? Uh, I disappeared. I'm altering things real quick. Good. What did I do? Uh, well, you have to understand, Deimos accidentally ripped time and space this way. <laughs> Here, go ahead and little bit close that image. I'm going to... A little bit, bit, yeah. I should have been using this picture to begin with. Okay, in any case, I am attempting to... Um... Ooh, oh, cool. shit. Wow. That is cool. Look at those cool Photoshop skills. Alrighty, so yeah, I'm I'm basically trying to figure out what happened when Adith did his whole dravitic breath and it didn't even affect the creature, and whether any damage that's happening to the creature um, is actually siphoning off more energy from the angel, like is the angel like a battery that's draining? And Roll I'm perception. trying to figure out like where, what is exactly happening, like why are we not able to attack the creature? And I'm using my spark on this as I through the weave into it. I'm trying to find the source of what the fuck's going on. Roll perception. And that would be what I'm doing. I don't know what to do. <laughs> like, what, what roll to do. Perception check. Roll perception check. And, um, go ahead and spark. Alright. Sorry, I was talking this whole time and my mic was turned off. <laughs> I was wondering, I was thinking to one time, I was like, okay, maybe it's muted, maybe not. Maybe I'm just, it's all in my head. Yeah. Yeah, I was I, beginning I, to believe that Amos was really fucking yeah. with us all. Yeah, I had I had prepped this map ahead of time and I just oh, forgot to use it. <laughs> so that's two. So that is seventy. Okay. Renly, as you as you fly and do a high arc over this creature, um, you can see that there is a distinct. Um, in the, the the black hole had its effect in the, in the sense that the trees the branches are shorn off completely they're completely cut off you know like like Terminator Two style you know when the when the when the when the um the the, the time bubble happens and like the concrete oh, is yeah. in a perfect orb that kind of thing that's what it looks like the trees and like part of part of branches and stuff like that in a perfect sphere around where Adis focused his um his gravitic breath. Um, the creature is still, t to your eye, moving and swaying unnaturally, um, in a way that that shouldn't shouldn't be sh sh that just doesn't make sense. Um, as it lumbers forward a little bit, um, you look through the the material. You look through the physical. You look even look through the arcane and see the flow of life and energy and power and matter underneath and you realize that this creature before you um, is not composed of of either there's no there's no um, there's no physicality to it and there's no soul within it um, you just see vestiges of arcane um, enchantments running through it I'm, I'm trying to find the, the source, like where um, the energy is going in, like when with the with the, this is uh, okay. thing that. So what is, you see, um, what you see is that the the energy is not flowing to it. The energy is flowing to a small circle right there, to a small spot right there underneath that tree. I'll, I'll try not to show that show that I know, but I will mention it to Achilia as we're flying. Um, okay. and see if she, she notices anything. Um, but, um, uh, yeah. 
damn it, I wish we had telepathic bond or something. So I'm not yelling across that there's something weird about this and it might not be real. Okay. Don't we have that spell. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, but no one is casting it. <laughs> Alrighty. Elwyn's turn. Alright, so I. I don't know that. Uh... No, not yet. Alright, so yeah, I'm just gonna shoot firebolts at it. Hey, Elwyn, when are you going to invent a, a firebolt machine gun? Don't be silly, those don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, you combine the gun with the with the spell storing stone, and you just start in the spell storing stones with the clip. <clears throat> okay. Elwyn, from your vantage around? point, from your vantage point, um, the... the... The firebolt seems to go into this thing's core, and it seems completely unaffected. Um, a brief second goes by, and you guys see that the um, the tree behind it has caught flame. All right, then um, I wouldn't shoot my second. Okay. Like I, I won't use those. Sorcery points out for the bonus action. Um, can I roll an Arcana check to see, or an Intelligence save, or whatever it is, to see if this is an illusion or? Go ahead to make an Intelligence check, or an Arcana check. Arcana check. Arcana check. Um, in my interaction with it on my turns, Midas, because of my scroll, would I have noticed anything about it? Um. You would have seen as much as Renly sees. There's an offness to it. Okay. Um, you can still see it, um, but the, like the physicality isn't there. You see weaves of arcane energy going through it. Um, okay. Elwyn, um, you know something is off. You're not sure if it's an illusion. If it's an illusion, it is the the highest form of illusion you've ever encountered because it doesn't even. It, it looks like nothing like any illusion you've seen before. Okay. Let's say, Demos. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I have a funny feeling. Yeah. That's my turn. Oh, Damos, you're up. All right. So does Damos see firebolt like these firebolts shoot through it, or does it still look like it? In, well, from like, where you are, you can't see. It, it, it looks like it goes right into it, and then the tree lights on fire behind it. So you couldn't, because you're right in front of it. You're in a direct line from it oh, to the tree. Son of a bitch. Looks like I have to get a vantage point as I climb off this mother trucker. Hey, no. It's a real shame I can see everything on top of your face as I continuously punch the shit out of it. <laughs> Spell one. But does matter misses? And the other one? Oh, All right. smacky you face. Feel, you feel like you're punching the air. Your hands are going right. straight through it. I want to look around. I'm assuming I can't like grab it. Like, can I actually climb this thing? No. <laughs> when I start, oh, you reach out to it, case. and and your hands and your your legs just pass right through it. The thing spins and whirls in front of you. Um, it's looking now directly towards you. A, an unearthly grut guttural groan emerges from its wide open mouth, and its blue, its blazing eyes are focused right on you, Demos. Okay, one second, new man. I see this tree on fire. Tamos is going to try to take an intelligence save. Does it look okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. You guys do something. I'm going to take this bastard off. And I, I bend the weave around me to uh, try to grapple him. Can I grapple the illusion? Uh, That's a nice um, way <laughs> You... <laughs> All right, so you grip onto. Okay, so what happens is that because its turn is occurs right after yours, right? So you reach forward and you see it turn towards you, and it brings its large spiked hand down in your direction. And in that moment, its its fist becomes physical, and you grab onto the fist. Holy! Right? You grab onto the fist. Drop, drop, drop down, bitch. All right. Well, hold on a second here. It gets three of these. But it also smashes into Hold you. Hold on. Game of Switcher armor class. Five, mother trucker. 
Um, I'll shield that. Um, your shield would make it 30, it would still break through. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it would still hit. Never mind. That's right. Hey, remember me. All right. Hey, bigger hits than that when I hit the toilet. I so will... each... Tell Each fist comes so pounding into you. You can feel all of a sudden the, phys the, the its form becomes alive and active as lightning, and um, and um, and the impact of its blows come blasting into you. Okay. If that happens like I'm grappling him. I get a can I get like a punch or a twist in? Sure. Oh, it's a real shame. Did I miss you because you punched my face and I couldn't see you? <laughs> All right. Um, you're 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 a bit, bit befuddled because as as that happens, Deimos, um, after it, it impacts you, um, it suddenly suddenly becomes intangible again, and you drop down to the ground. Shit, guys. All right, Adis, what do you do? Uh, let's see here. My damn character should go. Uh. So I can tell there's something up with this dude. Um, nothing. And it's obviously magical enchantment of some kind or some shit. Um, let's try it. physical when he attacks. I'm gonna cast. Do I have to touch? Oh, nope, I don't have to touch. Alright, I'm gonna cast the spell magic at 9th level on it. Okay, I'm just gonna tell you right now. Um, you're gonna need a hell of an arcane roll. That was fun. I'll try. All right. <clears throat> Go and roll it. Or an intelligence roll, whatever it is. It's uh... actually I forget. Let me double check to make sure before. I, I think it's intelligence check. Your primary spell casting yeah. modifier. Yeah. yeah. Primary spell. Uh, let's see. Even at ninth level. Oh no, it's fine. I don't mind. It's just the best I got. None of my ninth level is gonna work against this guy. So. Okay. Yeah, you not. see the the fig the form flicker, and um as if, so you never really experienced this before. So at, at ninth level, it's spell magic should be able to dispel anything. But you cast this, and you see the form waver slightly, um blurring and and um and distorting. And then its form just solidifies again, and the creature turns its gaze towards you, Natus. And a great roar bellows from its chest. So it had an impact. Alright, it pissed off. Alright, that works. Um, let's see here. Oh, I forgot something at the start of the turn. Yeah, I did get my breath weapon back. I'm gonna move over here. Is there room that I can hover above the altar thing that she's chained to? Um, yeah, you'd oh, have to go, there, there's, there's, you know, there's, there's, as, as you approach, you can feel the aura of energy emitting from this, from the vigil. Um, you'd have to go, you know, at least 100 feet in the air to, to, or not 100 feet, um, we'll call it 60 oh, feet in my, the air above it. My objective to be free to of it somewhere where I'm out of his melee, but you know how you said the chains had her arms around, right? Yeah. I want to be able to see the chains that are binding her clearly. That's that's my objective okay. for the move. All right, all right. Whereas, okay, so you you get you, so I'll say in the you're in the air right right around there. Okay, cool. You're sixty feet in the air. You can look down at at her. She's um strapped to this 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 vigil, and the chains are are definitely solid. And as you peer at them, you realize that the solidity of those chains um, contrasts the the vague. You know, there's something off about the, those chains that 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 drape from this creature. Just just affirming in your mind that this this being is not of physical form, um, and if it's an so illusion, it, like again, it's between the chains on her and this thing. There's a similarity. You look at the same make and design, but the um, um, they actually look pretty identical. But the uh, this creature is just like I said. It's like there's a wind swaying that there, but there's no wind. Do the chains on the angel appear to have some sort of physicality to them? Unlike Absolutely. The on him? Okay, yes. cool. That's all I need to know. Alright, that's my turn. Renly, you're up. 
Alrighty, I, uh, noticing that it's lost its physicality again, I'm going to just dive bomb, um, oh. get here, um, grab Elwyn and Deimos and rise up a bit, um, okay. getting over here, and as I freeze them up and as I'm moving upwards, I'm going to whisper to them, um, uh, I, I looked into the weave and the, the energy's not going to it, it's going to a different area. Demos, I'm gonna drop you right on top of it, and I'm, I'm I wait for Demos to give me an okay, <laughs> as I then like drop them <laughs> next to you, the circle. Okay. The creature, the creature swings at you, and you can feel its 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 chained fists impact your your silver dragon form. Um, you drop Demos and Elwyn right there. Yeah, am I still within its range? I thought I'd be within you, its range well, still because I'm so close. Oh, you flew in, and yeah, you moved out of it. It's, it doesn't have very long range. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, keep going. Okay. Um. So, Damos and Elwyn, you guys are are flowing down, are jumping down to that area. Um. You land through the tree, and um, you're looking at. Okay, so both of you roll a perception check. <laughs> this is what shit rolls, God, guys. Our rolls, our rolls, our rolls are gonna kill us. A 17's not that bad. My eyes are covered in blood. You see me pointing right at Bird? Alright, 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 alright. You <laughs> land there, and fire. you're fortunate enough, Deimos, that in that moment you land and you see a silver fleck. You know? So if you're here, I need tokens here. Um, and Elwyn is here. Look, guys, I got mad monsters. Okay, so Ellen's taller than you. What? Bullshit. All right, maybe not. Maybe not. All right, so that's easy too. Um, you land down on the ground. You know, there's a tree. Hold on. We're going isometric here. There's a tree back behind you. You know, with branches and stuff. Okay, it's on fire. <laughs> this is kind of fun drawing in fantasy grounds. It's on fire. Um, oh my god. <laughs> that looks like a burning clitoris. Oh god. <laughs> what the hell? Trees got herbs. I start oh, um, I don't even know how you get, like... Yeah. Um, right, as, soon as, as soon as it takes its op attack and hits me, um, I'd like to, because I notice it gets physical and that hurts. Um, in that moment, can I actually exert the frightful presence of the ancient silver dragon? Um... Since I know it's physical at that point. Sure, sure, go ahead. Alrighty. What's the armor class of your dragon, Renly? I'm not quite sure. I need to stare into the TV screen. Look on it's the... 22. Okay. 22. Um, oh, yeah, I wouldn't have been on Let's go ahead and roll it on it. Yep, yeah, rolling it. Right... <laughs> <laughs> Damn Barely. Mine, motherfucker. All okay, right. fine. Alright. So, Deimos, um, in that moment, you see a sliver of golden energy. In that moment, just like, just, it's, it's not golden energy, it's just light, just moving through the ground. Because, like I said, this pl whole place is dark. But um, you're used to, in Elysium, seeing life and g this golden light just streaming through every 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 rock, every, every tree, every building, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. You see a, f a faint trace of it just like stream in this direction right right kind of like right by your feet but you don't see anything by your feet and then i'll go there and i am done that is my turn it just like streams along the ground and just disappears all right okay elwin you're up all right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna cast i'm gonna use my sorcery points to cast my fire bolts to mm -hmm. orbit me Okay. And then I'm gonna hold my action to when that thing attacks something and becomes physical, I'm gonna unleash the three orbs that are orbiting me along with my held action. So did you uh, see I'll what do I my attack. posted, Elwin? No, I did not. Oh, I yelled to you to tell you that the dispel magic hurt it. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm still using these. Do my... Oh, that's cool. That's I'm using these spell screen. effects. <laughs> oh, here, oh, maybe. Go. Here, maybe, maybe this one instead. <laughs> 
Hold on, I've had whiskey today, so I'm, I'm kind of having fun. Oh shit! All oh, y'all disappeared. Fuck. Oh, we're all dead. I feel like we're still here. No. That was not okay, intended. I like it. I like it. So there. So that this will be the the flame that kind of like swirls around Elwyn. And Elwyn, your dude is in the middle of it. And there we go. And Demos, you're here. Next to him. I'm tiny as shit. I'm growing. Alright. And the tree right. is on fire. Alright, so, um, does it look like it just stops abruptly or like goes into the ground? It looks like it stops abruptly. It'd be a real shame if we take you have point one quarter of a second to reveal yourself, or I'm gonna start punching random areas. I wait point one second. Are you making an intimidation check, or what are you doing? Or are you just punching? I, I am a, the bard. I am giving a persuasion check. With your, All right, go ahead. With your seven. Roll it. Roll it. Hey, I'm the greatest. <laughs> Hey, got the average. Yeah, that's perfectly average. <laughs> Dead normal human. For like, for like a villager. <laughs> Take that yeah. villager. A normal I villager can do here. that. <laughs> and if they don't say anything, like, uh, Deimos is definitely putting off the thing after he's telling the truth. Okay, so Deimos, you... You stand there and you... Alright, so you, you, you say that and uh, do you do anything along with it? Um, I have my fist ready, like, I'm literally waiting for the second, like, the quarter of a second, like, after this, or any type of movement there. Uh, if it doesn't reveal itself or do anything, I'm literally starting pounding in that area. <laughs> Look at the link. I, think I saw it, this. yeah. It's... <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, what is it? Okay. So, Damus, you smash, you, you shout out that warning, and point one second later, you smash your fist down into the ground. And as you do, you feel this, just a, a small, um, hold on a second. I forgot your, that's not actually your, okay, there. Um, A small you, your your fist impacts the ground, but you feel a small sting just strike the back of your of your your forearm, and you take what right. thirty six points of necrotic damage across your forearm, and you can you can um, you feel you you sense something you you sense and hear just a faint perception underneath the fire, um, blazing over above you, and the roaring of the creature. You sense a a, a slight movement, um, just like a, 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 the faintest of pitter patters. Um, moving away from you. Oh my god! Disney, I think that's you. If it's not, I hope he's a hell. I will find this guy to I'm, I'm like, literally, like, so I got like my rest of my movement and my two attacks. I'm going super fast. Like, I'm going towards the area. I think I might do another punch and then okay. doing the same thing again. Are you just smashing into the ground? All right, roll uh, two no, like, more. So, like, I heard, I heard like a pitter pat. Yeah, I'm trying to like follow it as best as I can. You're trying to get it out of the ground by smashing the ground. <laughs> The ground or running around. We're pretty much wherever I hear the pitter patter coming from, and I got I got stung. But I'm going really fast, like right where I got stung. Like all right, so you're moving in this direction. Fast as shit. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I remember this picture I, I drew for you. This this token, this isometric yeah. token. I remember the feet. <laughs> <laughs> so I yeah, drew the, the feet. feet. Are the, <laughs> are the best part. <laughs> anyway, um. Okay, so so you you. Move, yeah, you move in that direction. You're smashing the ground. Go ahead and roll me a d20. Right, two d two d20s. Okay, your first Ooh, your first two. strike hits nothing, but on the second strike, you f you swear you feel something, um, and in that moment, your divine fist smashing ground. Go ahead and roll damage once. Um, you see a, a, bla a blast of energy, and a creature gets sm gets thrown forward, um, and knocked out of invisibility um, in I front of you. Bonus action to as, as my war god thing and, and grappler thing to grab it as fast as. Like, get over here! All right, so that's your, your grapple check. Actually, roll a dexterity check too, because because this happens after oh, your yeah, fist yeah, hits yeah, the yeah. ground, so you need to react to it. So roll a dexterity check also. All right, let's see here. Shit. 
shit. Oh, you can't see that because it's invisible. Nope. <laughs> I could have I could have rolled anything I wanted to. <laughs> yeah, you you said really could have. He got a twenty-one <laughs> out of twenty. I don't know. <laughs> he got a twenty-two, bitches. I, I rolled a natural twenty-two. Oh um, my okay. god. Um. Okay. One second here. So you guys, let's see. Where's my picture? That no such dice as a nat twenty-two. You lying. <laughs> you said no. It's I swear it's a real thing. <laughs> Fantasy grounds, you know. Okay, so um, for a second, your fist closes around the ankle of a creature that 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 shifts out of invisibility. This creature is is looking at you, and you've seen you've seen the like of this creature before, but this creature itself seems like a um um a tier or multiple tiers above any of these creatures that you've seen before. Fuck. As this is it face, tiny? yeah, it's very, it's it's quite small. It's okay. glowering. It's smaller than you, Renly. Is gazing oh back God. at you, Deimos, briefly. Is it one of those things that Chewbacca got in a fight with? Oh, no. no. You think you're deaf? And, and then, unfortunate. Hmm? And then you take this to your face. Oh no. Um, I will use my just, just as I'm. To the face, to it, it reaches out. And it's, it, <laughs> it reaches out, so it's it's gonna try. It's gonna try to rip away from you. Um, go ahead and make your your contested athletic check. It, it's gonna zing you in the face with like a stinger, and it's gonna do um. What the hell, Mister? Okay. What's your bench press? All right. So I, I roll a twenty-seven. You, it does not get away from you. Um, I'll use my boon to smack it two more times, so I don't know what I need to hit, but these two, oh, actually, technically it's advantage, but so last one, this is grappled. Okay, so in that moment, um, before your fist makes contact, right, the creature rises up and screeches, um, and you can feel, you can feel the, um, the, the air and the, the ground reverberating around you. And um, and you can hear its voice just shouting in abyssal very rapidly. Um, for those of you who speak abyssal, it sounds like. Um, um, actually, actually, I, I guess it would it would it would speak in a, in a language you understand. So let's say it, it speaks out in, out in common. Um, it says, "You've seen me. None of you have ever seen me before. Die, large one." Right. Oh and, my uh, god. And, and a large plume of flame um, erupts underneath your feet, Deimos. So, uh, but as plume happens, of flame underneath your feet. Yeah, I will uh, smack the shit out of him as I'm holding him up in the air. Uh, so I, I'm holding him up there, so I smack him two times. I don't know if a 31 or a, hopefully a 41 hits. Okay, so um, we'll do this simultaneously. The first one hits, go ahead and roll damage. You did the damage to the wrong guy. Fudge. Yeah, just, just roll damage. I'll add it to it. It's okay. That's fine. Right. Uh, so 116. Okay. So your fist makes solid contact for the first time. Um, you feel it impact this, this small creature's form. Um, and you hear it scream. <laughs> right? And um, you feel your fist just like crunch into it a little bit. Um, in that moment, um, suddenly, it, your, your, your grip goes empty. Right? As the creature vanishes from your grip. And flame erupts underneath your, underneath your your body. All right. Uh, rest my movement. I'm trying to get out of the fire. Okay. So you're gonna shit. take. This is basically an explosion that goes up underneath your, oh, underneath yeah, your sure. feet. So you're gonna take. Uh, Finding circles explosion. All right, you're gonna take so that's 11, 111 uh, fire damage, just blasting up underneath you. All right, I'll add that in. Okay, so back to the big map. Um, the creature reappears over here. All right, and.
gazes at gazes at all of you, all of you. At the same moment, the large the large aberration pauses and does nothing. Um, the creature is standing right behind the angel, um, one claw resting on its on on the angel's neck. He says, "You go no further. You approach no further." Yes, friend. He says, What brings you to Trix's realm? Trix is a good thing going here. And you, 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 you interfere. You interfere with Trix's feeding. There's better things to feed at. Nothing better. I, nothing better. I and you, and you see... Changa. You see his, his hand go up and, and caress the, the side of the angels' head. And says, Nothing better than divine life force. Okay. Uh, you guys should do your turn. Because I'm going to do some real bad things there with my turn. Um, what do you guys do? So so we're pausing initiative for a moment. What, what are you guys doing? Uh... Hmm? Anybody got something? I, I look towards Elwyn to talk uh, at the creature. <laughs> see there. Hold on. Tracy, I'm a bard. Yes. But more than a bard. Let's see if I can pull this off. What are you doing? I'm reading right now and seeing if I can do something here. This dude's annoying. So, this creature is, you know, you've seen imps before. Um, but this is, you know, it's basically like, yeah, you know, uh, he's, he's an imp on steroids. This is, this is, um, you know, a very, very high level demon imp. Um, it would have to be, to be able to subdue a, you know, an, an archangel. Um, one of the ones who's holding together a, a divine portfolio. I, I, I yell out at it. Oh, we didn't know it was you. We thought it was some other, uh, some inferior being. Uh, we we came in search of you to find out how you're able to 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 teleport around here. <laughs> he because says, that was really amazing to see it disappear. <laughs> <laughs> he says, uh, "Yo, sick of chicks! You die! You die! You die!" Um, uh, and bursts of flame erupt underneath you and then underneath Adis. I'm up in the air, so... Yeah, we're flying. Yeah, it, 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 yeah huge plumes of, of fire just blaze up from the ground. As soon as that happens, I use my gravity breath on the chains that are holding the angel. Okay. In a way, okay. it won't harm the, the structure, of course. Alright, so... <sighs> um, both of you take 71 points of fire damage. So halved for me. Okay. Just, just you know, n nothing, nothing too, too obscene, um, but um, all right, got it. Oh, okay. I, I can't apply it to uh, my dragon form, so. All right, I'll put it on your dragon. Oh, I took the whole, whole amount off. Hold on, I gotta put back. Um. Alright. Uh, I'm going so, to. So, so what happens? So, so you, you, you beam, your beam flies out, Adis. Uh, I'm using the black hole one. Yeah, use your black hole. Sorry. Oh, so and what happens is, you see, you see, um, nature itself bend in front of you, right? Your, 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 your black hole is appears at the chains, but you see the suction. Appearing elsewhere, it's it's the it's the oddest thing, All right? Interesting um, little trick, little man. Yeah, your section appears. Go ahead and roll a d6. D6. Okay. <coughs> Elwin, make a dexterity saving throw. You're, you see your black hole appear right behind Elwyn's head. Um, Elwyn, um, his, your head is, is lashed backwards. You can feel it like a suddenly, um, um, 
you know, just, just hundreds of pounds of force just pulling back on your head as you begin to be pulled away from Deimos's, uh, Deimos's side. Not today, Bruce Willis. This dude's a cheeky little bastard. So there's a, <clears throat> a the black hole appears right behind Elwyn's head. Um, oh. uh, are you doing something, Deimos? I mean, I'm definitely pulling Elwyn away. All right, so make a dexterity check. We have the chain. Okay. Remember, it's both ways now. Mm -hmm. Okay, are you using your reaction to pull him back towards you? Yes. All right. So as you do that, uh, you see, you feel Elwin get ripped off from from behind your, from off your, um, from behind from from where you were, <laughs> Elwin Demos, and being lifted literally up into the air, about to be pulled into this black hole. You invoke the chain, and he gets whipped, and he gets pulled back. Elwin, you lose. Um, fifty-seven percent of your hair. Oh! It's still luscious. He has the bald spot. Uh, bald. <laughs> I'm gonna Donald Trump it. Fifty-seven percent of the um, hair on your head is gone. That's my reaction. I want to try a thing. I want to try um, going way, way, way back in the day, like previous life, in the area we're at. And this lady's here. I want to try to see if I can use a spark to divine intervention. Not Tempest, but Tear. Tear's remaining whatever random power around. Let's be like, save the angel. Get rid of this dick. Please grant us your last wish. Because we're super cool. And you love me. Because I'm awesome. Roll the spark. So I'm you can do the demos. So that's a two. It's a two. It's a two. Mm -hmm. You're using divine intervention to try to to summon yeah. the the spirit of tear. The, the spirit of tear, because I'm I'm getting the thing together if um that gigantic shadow crazy demon or whatever it was, it still has some influence. Uh, some of like tears like last influence may still be going around. And I'm trying to harness it because, you know, he's a pretty cool guy. And um, <clears throat> I'm, like, trying to save mainly his domain. And, like, we're, we're totally buds. Like, he raised Deimos. So, yeah. Okay. Also, I've been trying not to use Divine Intervention for a long time. <laughs> this might be a good time. I noticed you you haven't used. Yeah, it. I was just like, I was Make... like, it was very good. When it, like when it was like percentile, but after you hit twenty, it's like automatic. You're like, uh... make a religion check. Religion, religion, where are you? Oh damn it! Ooh, okay. Wow. <laughs> it could have been one better. I'm like, dear, I know that you've been slain by demons, but I know you're slightly watching over us as you're drifting away to the next place or reincarnating into something with this little dick here. And I just cannot see your, your domain fall to ruin. You're good friends and everything. And, and uh, he's different thing. Okay. Okay. So... In this moment, um, you're 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 gazing at this this crazy imp. His name is Trix. All right? He's a high high level imp, uh, deceptive fiend. Um, he has subverted this area um, and used it to drain the power of the angel, um, whom you know from talking to uh, Cyrene and Altruis. Her name is Satellizer, and um, and the life from this whole area. And and um, you assume, because I'm um, just looking around, you assume that he's been, in this whole time, based on what uh, Kelly had told you earlier, that he's been warding this place and placing traps and different conduits of power um, to defend himself um, for for years, constantly feeding off of Satellizer and the life force in this area. So... 
Um, wait, where did that picture go? You Oh, this is whack. <laughs> I, I I add a, I add an image to my fantasy grounds folder and it's not appearing in the in the image list. From a while ago. Whack. I can add I can just drag it in, can't I? No, it doesn't work anymore. Um folder. I could go folder. Why won't it show? Let me rename it. Okay, that refreshed. All right, so Demos gazing at this 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 imp you see you see it's um, and using your spark you see into the realm around you and you realize what kind of realize what it's been doing um, and you also feel that the 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 remnant a slight remnant of your your former god the god that you used to worship before he he died on the on the um, the shores of Elysium and you gaze up into the sky above the above the vigil and you see it's his his spirit um, shimmering in the night sky above you and he um, he, he he speaks down to you um, in his is um, in, in, in the few seconds that it occurs this this encounter happens you hear him say my servant Deimos, you've called to me and brought me back from the great beyond. Why do you summon and beckon out to tear? Oh, wow. See, as you know, this area has fallen to ruin and your your faithful servants are being manipulated and fed upon. We need to save them. And I know you're not of here of any more in this stuff and things, but we could use your help in vanquishing this creature and somehow restoring some form of life. Uh, you're great, 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 super cool. Great angel. He um he leans in closer to you, um, Deimos. His his face seeming to be just a few feet away from yours, and much his massive form just present in front of you. And oh, oh shoot, I forgot to turn this on here. And he says, he says, my servants have indeed gone astray. His face a few a few feet away from yours, and he says. But my ability to change that is no more. I am just an afterthought. My mind, my power, my body, far, far gone from this world. I have little to offer you except my memories, O oh faithful servant. Don't worry, bro, Tonio. I'll find a way to bring you back. But memories are also a good thing. Save my angel. She is the last of my power. She holds within her justice itself. And her life grows dim 
this fiend feeds upon her. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm going to miss you. Who will bring you back? Along with your brother and those who watch over Tempest. He needs as much help as he can. He's all alone now, guys. He just, he just wants some friends. Give him a chimichanga. Beware this small one. His ability to deceive is unmatched amongst the devils and demons. In truth, only one being in all of existence can, su can surpass his claim to trickery. Could you give me Glitterbolt's number real fast? I know, right? <laughs> it is not Glitter Gold. Glitter Gold has within him humor, mirth. No, I speak of deception. I speak of lies that encase themselves in malice. This creature, this small fiend, tiny in stature, yet powerful in his ability to bend the truth to break his foes. But he is not the greatest of his kind. There is one in the heavens that surpasses him. Who? Who is it? Beware. Beware the god of treachery, my servant. Oh, shit. Lulith. Beware. He begins to fade away and, and move right backwards. Says, Give a name! I yell at him. Beware. <laughs> oh, Beware. Oh, point. Point to the ground. I throw it, like, before he goes away, I threw a chimichanga in his mouth. Is he alive? Beware. For his scent rests upon you. Rests on what? Yes, son of a bitch. Hey, hey. I'm rolling a D20 nat 20 right now. Damn it! <laughs> oh my god, that was so close. We almost got one more word out. It, 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 his fence rests on, I didn't hear what happened after. Yeah, I mean, it is some bullshit. Hey, tricky man. Am I gonna reload you? I'm here, I'm here. Wait, so what happened when you his fence on what? It it broke off there. Did you not hear it? Um, oh, no, I thought it he broke said off. his scent rests on and then it went blank. Alright, that's that's a good spot to leave it then. No nope, bullshit. <laughs> no! 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 We will totally find out after the fact, after we're all dead, exactly who sent it. He sent rested on. Hello, okay. Deceiver. Time to get out of here. Mm, that's not me! He looks at you and he says, And so you. This guy clearly a devil. He's a fiend, yeah. He, he, yeah, he's, he, he's a. I don't know what, what are imps. I think from, they're from the abyss, right? No. They're, they're demons. Uh, demons, yeah. Oh, oh wait, no, they're devils. It's like, imps were devils, right? Are they? I don't know. I don't know uh, anymore. Well, that depends I'm on how. Sure. They're from both areas, correct? Okay. Well, no, there's a big mentality difference between Abyss and Hell, that's why I'm asking. Yeah. Oh, it's a devil. Okay, it's a devil. Okay. Hmm. Mr. Imp, can we offer you to tell you to go away and feed somewhere else? He says, he looks at you and he says, Take a step closer to me, and I will show you the answer to your question. You're not going to kill the angels, so stop pretending like you're going to. You've spent long time setting all this shit up so that you could feed on her, so playing this little bullshit like your killer is not going to work. So how about we make a deal? He looks at you and he says, What deal? What deal you speak of? The deal is you go away or I fucking kill you. 
<laughs> you. Your life, your life is what's on the line here. You can either leave and live to be trickery somewhere else, or you can die here today. Make your choice now. He says, he says, I go nowhere except, then, except when I gain enough power to climb the mountain. And if you die here, will you ever amass enough power to climb the mountain? No, you won't. So either leave or die. Mm -mm. I okay, then, did not then die, die here. Yes. You die here. You die here. Big black, smoky, ducking, <laughs> spicy, stretchy gumbo. Could I make an assertion that radiant power wouldn't hurt an archangel? Uh, and it might even, yeah, it might, even right. might even help it. Um, let's see. You wouldn't have much experience with this necessarily. Um, well, an archangel. You you take it. You've taken. You've taken on. Go ahead and make a religion check. You've taken on the forms of of angels and stuff before, but not an archangel. Um, angels have been immune to radiant, right? I don't know. That's why I'm wondering if we would know. But I think Solars uh, and all were immune to radiant. No, uh, well, I don't, know I don't think they solar. are. What's it planet the, the, sub, the sub, the CR twenty and under angels aren't. They're just resistant to it. They're resistant to it. Oh, um, so, okay. So, you you think that you, uh, you? I mean, you have reason to believe since you've shaken, taken the form of Solars uh, before and planetars that it wouldn't be fully effective on it it wouldn't do full damage you're not sure if an archangel um definitely a being of greater of greater strength would be able to would um um react differently um although you did notice so go, everyone go ahead and roll me a perception check So Ellen I doesn't have she like twenty. So I have a passive of like twenty eight or something like that. Okay. Uh, Renly and Damos, roll perception, please. Or I'll roll uh, for 26. Damos. Oh, it didn't actually work. Sorry. There you go. All right. Um. So Renly, you're you're the one Sorry. who was flying above, just watching the whole time. Um. One thing you did notice though. That. With every ability, every every trap that has been activated, um, the spawning of this large illusion for one, the bursts of fire from the ground for another, um, every time one of those happens, the angel grows s slightly, but still visibly more dim. Yeah, that, that's what I figured. I figured he was using her as a battery to uh, to charge up whatever he's... Okay. So, he says he says to you, in complete defiance, um, he says, You big gumbo! Tricks no leave anywhere, unless... Unless... You give tricks... You give chicks. You give chicks entrance to the mountain. I will give you part of a spark, to the best of my knowledge. How does that sound? I'll consider it if you answer me one question. Mm. And be honest. What do you speak of? Why do you want to go up the mountain? Because. Because Trix has grown. Trix is stronger. Trix was nothing years ago when the devils and the army of angel and demons met. Trix was an afterthought. Nothing in the red god's eyes. But Trix has been feeding, feeding for years. And now so Trix is guy, greater. Ditched, the big guy ditched you and you're pissed off and you want to go kick him in the ass, right? Trix will go prove to the Red God that Trix is worth attention and worth power. Nah, nah, nah. You gotta prove to him that you're better than him. I prove to him by killing you. Have you, heard you me, man? give me 
Oh wait, just climb the mountain now, or I kill you, and I feed I... on this angel until she's a corpse and a husk, and I climb the mountain myself. I'll give you the, I'll give you this little tidbit, little man. If that angel dies, you'll never get up the mountain. <laughs> we shall see. No, it's true. If she dies, this entire realm falls apart. That's the whole reason we're here. And if you die, if you die, then I'll then I'll be dead, and I won't care. Then let us start with to... that. But you seem to want to live, so that you can go prove to the big wamba jamba that you want to be. I'm totally like having a full blown combo with this dude, distracting. <laughs> 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 and I'm like, uh, I'm, I'm like, flying in and Damus, trying to did, grab did you, the girl. Damus, did you run there? <laughs> no, <Delton. laughs> how, how did you get there? Did you? Did you they were talking. I did you really fly? Did you ro did you walk? No, I just walked up to him. He, he walked the first like, circuit route around. I actually think you can't see me because I actually still also think I'm Batman. Okay, so I need so you to roam it along the way. Even if he didn't see you, um, you walked across rolled, the ground here. I rolled, so I already did three stealth checks and a bunch of animals. No, you, you got to see if yeah. you stepped on a trap. Yeah, Ooh. roll, roll, um, one, two, roll, roll a d6. Don't roll a one. Don't roll. Cut to it. No, it, high, is, high is bad. One's good. Trust me. Okay. Okay. I trust you. Right. I trust you. All right. So, um, as you stepped across here, so when you were back here, right, Locker. you stepped across, mm -hmm. and you felt um, what happened was, um, you f you heard um, the activation of some kind of 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 arcane ward, and there is um. The angel dimmed even even more, as several of these. Mm. Oh, cool, cool. As, as it activates, I would like to fly in and try to grab the angel. She's uh, chained. No, that's the idea, because I'm wondering, like, when that trap activates, whether those chains become physical. And I'd like to cold breath those chains off of her. Okay. So this is what appears behind you, Deimos. What's up, dogs? I love petting dogs. Oh, dairy dogs! Ooh, I have a question, Midas. Yo. Can I roll something to see if I know this dude? If I ever encountered him in my 200 years in hell? Sure. What do I roll? Uh, just roll a d20. Okay. Uh, you did not. Okay. He, he's Can from deeper... From you, you were stuck on the first level of hell. Right. Um, he, he's from a, a deeper realm. Okay, so Damos, these hounds um, suddenly appear. They rise up from the ground behind you, and they're baying and yelping, um, just rips through the air. You move forward. As you get to here, they start um, like moving in on you. The the demon, it's, the demon, the, the trickster itself looks at you um, and says, He tried to trick a trickster. He's a futile effort. Okay. You can't see me. Tricks. Tricks the trickster. Just mm -hmm. ignore him. He's got a small brain. Continue our conversation. Me and you, we're making a deal here. You want to go up, and I can facilitate that. So ignore the lug behind you. Let your dogs chew on his ankles or whatever, and me and you continue our conversation because we're making a deal. He pauses and says, If any of your allies come closer to me, our deal is off, but I give you this one chance. Bring me release the, the arc light. Release the angel, and I will take you up one floor. Bring that is me. The deal. No, you I cannot climb nothing. the mountain yourself. You I need can. the approval of the gatekeepers. This yes, is known. Which you're, which you're killing one of them. So release the angel. We take you up one floor and part ways. That is the deal. You know tricking with us, we know tricking with you. He pauses for a second, he says. Take it or leave it. The th 
third. The third vigil is still locked. You We're are trapped here as I am. Mm-hmm. We're taking care of it. We already fixed the first one. We're here to fix this one. Then we'll go fix the other one. Go. Unlock the third. Then return to Trix. And we will be able to bargain. On one condition. Yes. You take no what? more life from the angel before we return. He says. He pauses for a second. Um, roll, her, roll a persuasion check. So, okay. so what exactly happened when the trap triggered and I flew in and tried to grab the angel and cold breathed? Okay, so you're trying to blow. You're trying. You're trying to grab the angel. Like when the trap, when Demoth hit the trap and it went off. I flew mm -hmm. in and tried to grab the angel with the idea that the chains on the angel became physical when a trap would trigger. Okay, so the the chains are not are not trigger are not um, the, the 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 chains are always physical because the angel is physical. Okay. Okay. All right. So you're going to try to grab the angel and pull her away. Yeah. All right. So the, um, as Demos. All right, as Damos triggers the trap, so you go and you grab the angel. Um, um, you'll find it doesn't matter what the strength check is. She, you can't pull her away from the, like the chains won't break. You'd have to tear her body apart. Um, you hear the angel cry out. Um, Trix turns on you, and you feel um, a trap um, ignite underneath, where um, directly underneath your form. Roll a d6. Alrighty. Hey, Trix, how did you make these chains? They seem pretty cool. Okay, so a burst of fire erupts underneath you, Renly. Um, and as it erupts, it it um it burns you, but it also burns at the angel, and so there's a normal dimming of her strength. From when um, the trap or the trap triggers, but then additionally, um, she incurs more damage, more more loss of life force, as as the um, um, the fire hits her as well. When the the happens, chains are unbreaking; will... she's locked into place. When that I happens, I'll Ellen. yell at both of them and tell them, "Can you all stop? Adults are trying to have a conversation here." I look towards Elwyn, and I look towards the chains, sort of like, you know, can you see what's going on with these chains? I already tried to destroy them. It didn't work, remember? No, I'm looking towards Elwyn. And basically, as I'm as I'm looking towards him and looking towards the chains, I'm basically trying to um, telegraph, like, look into the Wii, find out what the fuck is up with these chains. I just want to point out, you guys are provoking this dude while he's like she a hair's from killing this angel. I give you a wink, Renly. <laughs> um, but just give me a second, I'll be right back. I can hear you guys. I, I'm just moving some stuff around. So I'll cool. be right back to roll on that. Okay. So Trix, Trix, Trix backs off and says, You seek to deceive me! You die now! Nah. We're right, you're gonna need to you're, 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 you're gonna need to roll a persuasion check to even keep his interest. I rolled a 23. Oh, roll for keeping his interest? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Um... All right, you have him for one more round of conversation. Um, he I holds on to, he holds on to the 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 angel, the angel's form. You you um, you, she's not able to be ripped away from the 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 altar, but um, he he wraps his claw around her throat, um, these these sharp talons like, um, pressing into the flesh, around her 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 um, in her throat, and he says. He says, one step closer, and I tear. Her life away from her, thr her throat. Oh, Make your promise. 
dragon. If it's good enough, I will yeah. listen. If not, she dies. And as I unleash her power, you all die as well. Alright, this is the deal. The deal is we go Shakira the other gatekeeper. While we are away, you promise to take no more life from this angel. When we return, you will release the angel, we will secure this gate, and then we will take you up one floor part ways. Any subterfuge on either side's part nullifies the deal. He pauses for a second, he says. Almost. You bring me the arc light from the third vigil. We bring you nothing. That is the deal. And then give me entrance. No, this is my deal. Bring me the arc light. I will be the key holder. I trust you not. And I trust you not either. Alan? Midas? Yes. Me being the experts in handcuffs, um, yeah. used them many times. <laughs> <laughs> on pretty ladies. On pretty ladies. And on Damoth. Like, you know, leash counts if, if, if binding. Oh, yeah. yeah um, we I actually have like a PhD. Him. I'm like the, the leader worldwide on the workings and... Uh, Bondage. Yeah, That's yeah. the His word. With a history channel special on it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um... He's written a thief if. <laughs> what would you need me to roll to see if uh, I can find any any chinks in these handcuffs, uh, a way to manipulate them? I don't know if you have any sparks left. <laughs> I do. Um, roll investigation. Uh, one spark left. Got two. We can work this together. Because I'm trying to, I'm good. I'm also liking these handcuff things, dude. I have a plus three. I'm gonna use my spark. Oh, wow, oh, oh, suck, a, <laughs> suck a wiener, suck another wiener. <laughs> so many wieners, so many wieners are getting sucked right, right now. Nice oh. food, I'm telling you, I'm the leading expert in that. <laughs> 69 bitches and a 69. <laughs> Holy shit, that's like a perfect roll. <laughs> Too bad you're not... Hey, Elwood. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It literally, it literally could not be higher. I mean, it's... <laughs> no, no, I mean, not 20 plus a 69. <laughs> yeah, not 20, 69, times 3. It was meant to be. It was meant to be. Okay, um... Derail, derail, okay. derail. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Alan. So you get... With a 69, you get to see. Um, okay, so while the rest of you are talking with this demon, trying to... Or, or trying to snatch it away, um, it's a very uneasy place. Um, it, you can feel its claws gripping at her neck. Um, fire! You know, the, the, these demons, these um, these illusions are closing in on you as you speak. It's a very, very uneasy tension. Um, Elwyn, you're standing back and you're just looking at at Satellizer, chained to the vigil itself. Um, so this is the vigil again. Um, she's basically chained to its base, and this is her. You, um... <laughs> um, you, 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 you will gaze with such intensity that your, your, your sensitivity to the unknown heightens. Your awareness of the truth beyond, beyond reality, behind the undergird's reality, um, it just, it comes to fruition. And you can tell that these bonds that wrap up Satellizer are 
are woven from two realms. Um, they are physical chains as well, but they are in, they are highly infused with this this demon's illusion magic. Their their invulnerability. Um, they're 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 strong. Don't get me get me wrong. They're they're absolutely completely firm and powerful. But their invulnerability is the, the, the is a um is a, an, an enchantment. It's a, it's a deception. It's an illusion. Um, so as Renly in her dragon form reached down to pick up Satellizer, um, and pulled at her and felt the chains completely unbreaking and unyielding, that was the the, dece the, the deception. Um, the chains were just chains. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So while the, I've been I've been standing back this whole time, not drawing attention to myself, well. Uh, they're speaking and springing traps and trying to make a deal with. I... with... Yeah, go for it. Oh, oh no, I was like, <clears throat> while you're doing this. Oh, wait, we can't tell my. Can we... That's right. We don't have a telepathic not... bond you know going, no. Me, me, and, me and L1 can, right? No. <laughs> what? You have That's, to... dumb. <laughs> That's dumb. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 probably, I probably wouldn't know what was going on then. <laughs> I was gonna make a distraction. I send a uh, just a slight ripple from my chain that's tethered to Deimos, <laughs> sort of sending him. He can he can feel the the little uh, you know the I little know, like, movement. Like, to it's like tug speed. once if you're. Yep. <laughs> tug yeah. once if you're in danger. Tug twice if you're. If he tugs 14 times, it means create a distraction. Yeah, you just feel the slight tug. Let's see what you make of it. At this, Deimos, so freaking fast, shoots towards him. But before he even gets to him, I'm going to bubble both of us. I'm going to use my sky spell bubble to bubble both of us as we tumble away. Oh my god! You, you and the demon? Oh yep. my god! I'm getting the demon in there. We're both bubble bumping away. Oh, that is an Roll a D6. epic idea. Oh, damn. Well, do you think better would have been cage fight? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I'm like, this oh yeah, you should have cage like, fight. Severed, like, severed in there, and like we're just like in this bubble. We can't move for like a round. Okay. We're both just rolling away. <laughs> All right. You have All right, so what happens? Rolled and you're rolling. Yeah. What happens is literally as you as you you step in and grab onto him. All right, go ahead and roll your um. I guess I guess you you gotta come into physical contact with him and then you cast the bubble. All right. Yeah. Um, as you step in and as the bubble is activating, you see a rune activate underneath your feet, right? And it lights up. And in that moment, you feel um the the angel's life draining away from her and at a, at a much more rapid pace. Than all these other these other illusions have created. Nice. All right. There's a there's um, a burst underneath you, um, and there's um like like a, like a, a kinetic explosion. This is not a fiery kind of bomb kind of thing. This is a catapulting. This is a a um, um like a almost like an you know you're you're in a plane and you hit the ejector switch or something like that. But you grab onto him and you cast the bubble. So you and he inside your bubble are flung. Oh my god! Oh my 500 god, feet up into the air. Okay, oh 500 god. feet up into the air. And as as he's ripped away, you can see his claws just tear at the angel's neck, and streams of blood, um, angelic, you know, golden glistening blood starts to start to pour across the surface of the altar at, of the vigil as she, her head slumps down across it. Oh no. I wall shape back Midas. and feed him one of my super potions. Midas. Yes, Adis. Can I try to counter the glyph? No, absolutely not. Okay. No, okay. the, the uh, you, what you recognize is that um, that like like Kelly has said, these enchant these illusions are woven over a great period of time, but also are of a level that's 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 um that's that's honestly beyond you guys. Um. So they flew there's... up into the air. Five hundred feet, you said. Yeah, just blasting off the, like a rocket, just blazing straight up into the sky. Okay, 
So the orbs that I had orbiting, uh, my firebolts, since mm -hmm. I know where the power from the enchantment comes from, uh, from from the chains, which is um, pretty much the lie. That's why Renly couldn't break yeah. them. Because she believed that they were just unbreakable. Now Correct. that I know that that's their... Uh, that they're, it's not true. They're just chains. It's our belief that's making the power. I don't have that belief anymore. My yep. firebolts are going straight at the chains, and I know it's going to break them. Because okay. I'm going to do my Boon of Ambrosia to uh, do max damage on them. Okay. Ripping across the surface of the of the vigil, your your flames um, blaze into these these chains. I mean, they're 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 they're, they're solid thick chains, you know, forged in in the um the 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 fires of hell but your your flames are, are of a um uh, a draconic nature and after a few quick fire blasts they rip away at it and the illusion falls um, the, the illusion breaks and the chains crumble as well um the angel um now f freshly freed slumps to the ground her lifeblood f flowing from her neck in that moment um in that moment <clears throat> in that moment more creatures begin to spawn that's fine that's fine okay. that's fine that's fine i'm just feeding a freaking potion <laughs> so you're free all right for renly you're feeding her a potion yeah yeah i'm doing the whole potion of healing thing that allows her to to be to revive um i'm okay. using one of those so uh, the god potions. I have one left, crap. But yeah, uh, but I don't want it to bleed out to death. Okay, so more of these these creatures begin to spawn up all around you. Um, this, as multiple traps are being activated at the same time. Okay. So, um, Renly, go ahead and roll your your two d four plus four. <laughs> Or did hey, I say they're supreme? Hope healing. Are they, are, they're supreme, right? No, no, they're regular. I don't have supreme. They're 2d4 plus 4? Okay. Alright, 2d4 plus yeah. 4. They can just bring people back to life. That's doing the age. 2d4, here we go. Okay. Um, you're looking down at her and you pour the, the, the potion down her down her throat. And you can see the wound, the, the blood stop flowing from her throat. Alrighty. That's basically the only effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured. Uh, next turn, I turn into a tree and try to uh, bring healing back into her life. <laughs> God. Okay. Oh, but um, <laughs> everyone roll initiative. Yep. All right, Deimos, a hundred feet up in the air, mm -hmm. or five hundred feet up in the air, inside your bubble, the demon is yelling and screaming and cursing in your face. Um, it is furious. It cl it closes its eyes and it, and it focuses its power and its strength, and you you suddenly see. Um, So around you, there are now five of him. Ooh. This is inconvenient for Demos. Okay, all inside your bubble, with you. <laughs> with two keys. Um, his eyes man. glaring at you. He he um he fires a small bolt of fire from his uh, from his claws at you. Plus twenty five. They can't miss me. Okay, <laughs> it stings you. Go ahead and uh, roll a Constitution saving throw. Twenty 
four. Okay. Um, and as the the the, the, the bolt the hits you. I'm already in the bubble. I have no okay. bubble in the bubble. All right, that's his turn. Renly, you're up. Alrighty, I transform into my tree form, and um, I am going to do the whole um, healing on her to wake her up. Okay. If this would, I do not know. Hold on. Oh wait. Can you I apply it, to... or if not, if not, I'll I'll do it. Let's see. Is she a picture? Or is she a character? Like, does she have a sheet? Oh, she's just a picture. No, she's not. Oh, okay, that's not gonna work. <laughs> oh wait, yeah, I'll. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm doing re rejuvenate, so it targets two people, so just do... Um, Edith, how high are you? He's 60 feet in the air. Okay, uh, I'm about 30 f hit points down. Okay, yeah, um... Pop it on him, so... There you go, so she gets back 92 as well. And this will work for okay. another uh, two turns. Okay, yeah, this will kick in for two turns, okay. done. My turn. Right. And I am As you do that, you you send some vitality, some life beginning to return to her. She's Alrighty. grown very dim. She had, she had grown like, very Wake dim. Up! Wake up! Okay, Adis, you're up. So Renly is a little tree, right? Yep. Well, she's a big tree. Right. <laughs> How big a tree? Okay, she's Pretty small big. enough. I think she's I'm small huge. enough. I'm huge. I'm a huge beast. So 15 like by that. 15. Okay. I'm gonna fly down and in my nebularosisness form with my head tucked in, I'm gonna completely envelop the angel. Okay. Um, and I am going to use my life transference on myself to heal her. Okay. Let's see here. On yourself yourself or on the on your dragon form? Um, on my dragon form. I'm going to take the health from my dragon form and give it to her. Um, where the hell is it? There it is. So I will take... Oh, come on. As my action, I'll cast it and take the health from myself. It should be 22, and then as my bonus action, I will give it all to her. Okay. Okay. Life is slowly beginning to... to return to her um her, her brightness for you know you know as it was growing dimmer as traps were activating before now they're slightly beginning to the light the the, the glow the the light is beginning to return to her her features um she's nowhere near and full I, strength and yet, i but. leave a small little hole so that renly can see her but i want to not be able to see anything that's going on around me so i have my head tucked in i'm disbelieving anything outside of me and just renly and the I'm attempting to disbelieve anything other than me, Renly, the angel, and God chick. I, I never say anything out loud. I already I know that they're, I, I know they're illusions. Okay. Because of my scroll. The... Alright, the hounds mo start moving in. This one... So wait, you turn into the tree. Uh, is Akelia just like sitting in your branches, Renly? Um, Akelia would have ended up on the ground once I transform back into Renly to pour the potion, and then okay. uh, turning into a tree. I think like uh, I would have expanded. I could have grabbed as like, as I got bigger. So she probably ran. Okay, so um, the, the this first hound starts jumping at you, Adis. Um, since you are the one that is sur is um, surrounding the angel, and it bites I'll at you three look. times. Oh, we'll take it like a champ. Um, let's see here. What's my armor class? 26. Um, I will shield one of them. Okay. Just one? I think if you activate shield, it lasts for the whole... Until the oh, it does. So yeah, that would, it, would, it would stop both of those, yeah. Okay. Um, Deimos up in the air. Mm -hmm. One of the other um, uh, imps attacks you. Inconvenient. Hits you. Roll a constitution saving throw. Okay. 
Amos, Jamos, this is gonna go down in history as like the best plan you ever had. That was yeah. epic. Jamos's plans are always the best plans. They, they really are. Watched. They really are. Jamos always has great plans. He thinks about fucking... them deeply. He, got he really the does. Air, like, a can, like a cannon, that was epic. Like half a second, <laughs> you think of them so deeply, and they are glorious. They're glorious. I mean, don't ask questions about Deimos. Pray it's Tempest. Hey, yes, glorious. Just by the way, Deimos. Stung to death up there and cursed. <laughs> um, I could actually hook you up with a rune like that. Um, so Deimos, as you feel this this um this stinging blast from this other imp next to you hit you, the um. It, it, it strikes doubly true. You can you can feel that like these effects are cumulative. They don't hit super hard initially, but um every time so so um you, you feel building. every time like yeah something something like more and more yeah yeah something 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 as as you as you fail your constitution saving throws um it, that there's a, an accumulation effect okay um so what happens is this large uh. Fiend steps up behind you, Adis, and in the moment that it swings at you, um, becomes physical. Hold on before you do that, real quick. Where's it at? I'm gonna put this on me so we don't have to guess. There you go. Oh, thank God. Nice. Alright, three misses. Alright, um, Renly. Okay, um, wait, no, I'm, I already took my turn, right? Like, um, this is, I'm no longer the Ancient Dragon, so I already... Oh, you're not? That. Okay. Alright, so I'm getting rid of the Ancient Dragon, okay. Um, that means it's another demon imp's form right. turn up in the air. I'm, I might war god that doesn't see what he, I can't do anything. Okay. Deimos, go ahead and roll Constitution saving throw. All right, you're fine. Next one's turn. Uh, attacks you. Hits. Okay. Roll Constitution saving throw. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's turns over. Another hound moves into action. It comes up to you, Adis. And you still have the shield effect on you, but there's they're they're predetermined. And now that there's two of them, there it has advantage. Attack tactics best ability ever. All right. Um, they all missed though. Deimos, your turn. All right. Deimos, as they're like still at the end of this turn, you're, you guys. At the end of this turn, you're gonna, you guys are going to start falling. Yeah, and that's good. Oh, it's a shame that all of you guys are next to me. Thank you, all my allies. As I try out this new thing, as I point to the sky, and I'm like, Dear, this one's for you. I mass heal all of them. Wait, oh my god! You mass heal! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm going to mass heal them. I'm like, you guys are in Deimos' bubble now. Time for you to get some healing. Healing oh down to you. Oh, and then I'll spark it too. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot about your new ability. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's Deimos. two. That's two. So uh, so that's a uh, three thousand. I'm assuming it's gonna be spread out evenly because I assume they're all. I don't know what illusions and shit are for this. But I'm like, kacha 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 kacha. Wow. Okay. All right, um, 3,000 divided by five, plus their sitting damage. Okay. And then, for God's blessing, and I'm gonna grab From one of these bitches. Which one? This one fault. Uh, honestly, I wouldn't be able to guess. I'll do one, two, three, four, five. Looks like number th number three. I'm gonna okay. grab number three. And uh, 
since he's grappled, I will continuously punch number three in the face as we are plumbing to the ground. Like, this is gonna be freaking awesome. Okay, so. Punch number um, three with number five or something. Uh, Use one to hit they, the other. They, they shriek. You, so from down below, you uh, you see, you hear like this this explosion up in the air as the bubble goes <laughs> down, and you know there's this this whoomf of divine energy, like healing energy, but you hear the screeches and skitters of five, um, you know, versions, mirror images of tricks up in the air, just screaming and howling and, 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 and scraping. And you see Deimos grappling one of them, um, having his head, its head like a, in like a, like a full choke and just pounding on it with its other hand as they all start, you know, their, their momentum upward stops and they begin to plummet downwards. Instead of the attack, uh, so I'll do the the bonus to grab him, but I don't think I will use that to activate my shield. It's a pretty Go ahead. This is gonna be, be freaking sweet, guys. Uh, Midas, when he gets within range, I'll feather fall, Damos. I'm gonna smack this. I got this one grabbed. I got him like in the perfect like pincer position. Yeah. Oh, are you gonna do the works. like slam him into the ground thing? Yep. Oh, okay. Then never mind. I won't. <clears throat> Okay. Both of us. He's, he's going for the pile drive him more. You're going for the pile drive him into the ground. I got you. All right. So the hounds are beginning to move in. This one targets you, Renly. Why can I not target Renly? Oh, that's just a picture. Oh. That's like. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Well, I'll target the branch then. Three attacks, advantage, since there's a, a dog within melee range of you. Oh, damn. Damn. Two crits. What the fuck? Okay. Ouch. Okay. This hound comes charging up, targets you, Renly. Three attacks. <laughs> In their defense, okay. though, you are a very large tree. I am a very large tree. <laughs> but then I, I, I did want to ask, like, when I was a dragon and with the blind sight, I still like the the big guys still seem to check out as big guys. They didn't seem to be illusions until I I looked into them through the weave, right? Correct. And okay. the way the, the way these these illusions are structured, they they have physicality when um okay. to them. You know, when they attack, they they become physical and then they go back to incorp to intangible afterwards. Alrighty. So um, this third one, Renly. I mean, they're they're just, for lack of a better term, dogpiling you. Yeah. And I'm glad they're getting all those crits Two. on you. I know, right? Okay, and there's one more. This one's gonna come in, go at Adis, since Adis is closer. Take it like a champ. And oh, all one hit. Man. Okay. Alright. Then um, this large one steps over here. And um, swings up its large chained fists. Um, that one I already know that it's an illusion, so does it actually do anything? Oh, yes. Just like doing it's an illusion. Yeah. Uh, they, 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 okay. they become physical. The, the, so the, the, the enchantment you guys are gathering that the, these, this illusion magic is of, a, of another order. 
it can become phys- it can become tangible in, in at crucial moments and then it goes back towards being illusion okay okay that's why they're actually these these blows are actually doing damage all right Ellen you're up all right I'm gonna Daenerys this shit I'm gonna fly up in the air and I'm gonna fly in this direction and I'm gonna carpet the whole section with the dogs with um, my dragon's breath and can I do it in a way that I can get them and not uh, Aedis and the rest of my people you know what I mean oh I yell at you yeah wait till they become physical again because they've gone intangible again I think the dogs themselves I thought only the other dudes I thought all of these were uh, were illusion y thingies. Nobody you guys actually haven't attacked any dogs yet, so, so you're not. Going yeah, no oh, one's attacked the dogs. Okay. So, can I do that? Get, get these dogs as I fly by? Yep. Yep. So, so um, Renly was right. Yeah, Renly Re- 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 was right. The fire blazes out and, and erupts over the ground, um, but the dogs are unaffected. It like, passes straight okay. through them. So now we know. There goes that. Um, so I guess I'm going to turn around and um, throw some fire bolts at. Which one are you grabbing, Deimos? Uh, number three. Okay, so I'll throw them at number four. Um, Midas, as he's mm-hmm. flying over doing his carpet bombing thing, does he happen to see a rune glowing on the ground, say, like, I don't know, right about there. <laughs> Why? I'm just curious. Because since he's flying, it would it would be easy for him to see it. Um... Do you still have your floating ones? There are, I mean, there there are several runes that were activated all around, um, right, right in that spot, not necessarily. Yeah, maybe not right in that spot, but I mean, when he flies over, does he see any that are, like, glowing on the ground and shit? Um, yeah, actually, yeah, there, there would be a few. There you go, Ellen. I helped you out. That's my turn. Okay. Up in the air, you guys are rapidly falling, Demos. So you guys are are plummeting downwards. At your next turn, you will impact the ground. Is oh my god! Um, I can take you with me. This is gonna be amazing. That's two hundred and fifty d six damage, Demos. <laughs> That's ten d six damage. It I will actually out wait. Wait. Never huh? mind. It's one d six for every ten feet. But Max is out to t- 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 10d6, or oh, 20d6, sorry. Whose world are we in? Damos, make a constitution saving throw. <laughs> Man, you think with my plus 16, I'd make more of these. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Jeez, Damos, I rolled. No. I have uh, uh, you sure you don't want that feather fall, Damos? <laughs> Uh, this one I can actually block. I will use a. Uh, oh, you can. Okay. Yep. I use a. I'll use a. Uh, yeah. I'll block. All right. Oops. Wrong one. Thirty-five. All right. So you block that attack. Mm-hmm. Renly, you're up. Alrighty. I'm wall shaping into the ancient silver again. I'm disengaging as my main action and moving up. At this point, however, they'll also get the second round off. Um, healing the angel and let me just put that on Edith. So you can put it on the angel after. So that is that, and one last round of that will come in for them. But yeah, I will fly up my 80 feet after disengaging, um, and I will fly to the north of the map, like around here. And I'll yell at Edith, grab the grab the angel and like fly above the the vigil. Also, Aegis, your breathing is definitely coming through. Oh, sorry. Oh, you don't forget. All right, Ancient Silver Dragon. Where 
it go? Oh, I deleted the, the token to have, uh, that was before. Sorry. No worries. All right. So where did you fly to? I put it on the map. Um, I did a circle to the north, and okay. Wow, well, it matches in with the background perfectly. <laughs> so... All right. But yeah. It is. You're up. I'll be eating that. Is the don't forget your little friend here. Um, on, yeah. Is the drag or is the angel free from her restraints now? Yeah, Elvin bl blasted them. Yes, she is. All right, I will scoop her up and I will disengage and I will fly up in the air and toward Rinley. Okay. And I will take Homie G with me. Um, cause, um, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where does it look like Davos is coming down at? Because I don't want to be anywhere near where they're going to hit the ground. <laughs> when he blasts it off. Exactly yeah. the spot where he blasts it off. Okay, so it comes, okay, so I'll fly up there toward Renly and, uh, with the angel. And I will use my stellarish form to conceal the angel if it's possible. <clears throat> okay. You, fl you lift up into the air, the angel wrapped up in your, in your, the, the, your void essence, basically. The creatures on the ground are raging and r and screaming. They they swing at you, but you you become um, you use all your 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 focus to avoid the the multiple swings and and claws and and lashes of these creatures down below. And as I fly away, I look back at them and say, "Ha ha, tricks on you." Okay. And that's my turn. And tricks on the you. hounds. The hounds um, run around wildly, not able to do anything. Deimos. You are still in the air, right? <laughs> L1? Yep. Ooh, highest one yet. Let's see, how many curses do you have? You have four. So, hit. Plus four. And... I got a 26. Uh, so does is it working like um, depending on the number of curses? That's how many times he takes damage from each attack. Yes. Oh, that's an interesting concept. I like that. Okay. Um, this creature down on the ground, um, looking up at uh, you guys. Actually, it'll look over at Elwyn. Yeah, he can probably reach me. I'm only about forty feet in the air. Fuck. Stomp over. And w and slash in the air with his huge whip. Disadvantage. Disadvantage. All right, hold on What's a second. What's your armor class, Elwin? Um, let's see. I'm gonna shield anyway, so twenty-three plus five, twenty-eight. And I'll shield. Twenty-eight. Well. So the you can't double shield. They're two different spells. That's up to you, but they are two different spells. You can't double two. shield. No, it's the same spell. All right, so the first one hits, the second one misses, and the third one it's worth misses. A try. So, so only one hit goes through Owen. All right, Deimos, still these things are clawing at you, biting at you, slashing at you. Um, oh, it's okay, my little children. Right, is so, if you. I'm picturing this Ouch. correctly. Deimos is coming down head first with this dude in like a chokehold headlock, and then there's like four more of them clinging on him at like yeah. a leg and arm. Sure, like, back I think I was like, I'm gonna like at the end of my turn, I hit the ground. So I have like my turn, and then I hit the ground, and we see what the fuck happens. Yeah, pretty much. All right, roll <laughs> your roll your con save. I cannot do these con saves for days. No, you're, you're not doing that great. All right, I think it's, it's a twenty-eight. Is the save? Mm. All right. Um. Oh, well, there's right another one. That an active. Attacks, I'm gonna pull Deimos towards me. Uh, yes. Oh no. Is there a range? Yes. Uh, there should be. Let me check. Or maybe we wait until he hits the ground. Give me wait before I hit 100, the ground. Yeah, hundred feet. Yeah, we okay, so they're not quite within hundred feet yeah. yet. Okay. As um, soon as he comes within range. So, okay, let me see here. Where's the spell? Let me see the spell. 
I'm just wondering if they come with him. Isn't it a reaction though, Ellen? Yeah, you can use it as a reaction. Um, let's see here. Oh, you cast this on. Oh, shit. Yeah, let's see. Object or creature it. the leech is attached cannot go further than 100 feet from you. <laughs> We've been doing this all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, 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 we'll retcon it to be different. It just, we'll, we'll say it 100 just range, but you can go without it. Okay. All right. You can only touch the object creature leech is attached. You cannot go from. So here's a question. So if like if his clothing and his all his stuff goes with him, then the all these things are like like they they have claws and fangs embedded within him. You think they would travel too? Yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. Another question is: Do they do they retain their kinetic energy? <laughs> And motion <laughs> from before the cast. That's I, what I, I want to know. Actually, I, I would actually think they would gain momentum. <laughs> it, like okay, it speeds it up even more. It depends on which way we get pulled in. Okay. Wait for him to hit the ground, then pull him. These whom he have Jimmy Elwin, Jokers. Elwin, try to time it perfectly for right, because he's holding the demon out, right? So the demon hits head first. So try to time it right as the demon's head hits the ground. You pull Elwin, or you pull Deimos across who it. It's the impact, and it drags the demon's head across the ground. <laughs> yep. I actually like that plan. That sounds lovely. I like the stream. Try to hope. Form. Yeah, try to, try to hope and dream it. And then, well, and then you'll go through some of the, uh, you'll go through a couple of the dogs and shit and yeah. Okay. So let's see what happens. So Deimos, your turn. Deimos At the end of your turn, to... you're you're gonna finish your fall. I'm going to grab another boy. Okay, you grab him. And use them to to pin through another one. And then I'm gonna grab another boy. Wait, wait. How? Yeah. With, with what hand? With your third with your arm. leg. I, I, uh, he's here. He's they're tiny. He's... I'm literally collecting them like cats. Like they're cats. Do, no, like, I'm grabbing them all together. Thighs. I'm going to. Literally, I'm trying to like trying to get like a five man group of cats. <laughs> all together. So I start my. All right. So, so, I, the... get, so I get my my bonus for starting new grapple, and I I keep grabbing, and then for my last one, I position them with my last thing into a. Oh wait, no, that's it. But I have them like always placed down in front of me. Like I'm. I'm like straight up body slamming these guys. Like pile driver. Like a pile driver. I'm like, this is gonna be so much fun, guys. <laughs> I'm just joking. Oh this God. is probably gonna suck really bad. And then I'm gonna give myself 100 hit points back to make sure my head may or may not explode. Oh my God! And then God, I shall that's hit the ground as all these guys are looking and like. Uh, so you're I'm coming down. I'm gonna try to time it, Midas. What would you want me to roll? And can I try okay. to time a okay. feather fall on him too, to help, like as to give like a one advantage maybe. You're gonna if you cast feather fall, it's gonna kill all his all his momentum. Yeah. Just Deimos is though, like, because he's timing it to uh, to pull him. When yeah, the but they are connected hit. to him. He's holding all of them. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, they have they have like claws momentum. and fangs embedded into him. So as yeah. soon as he stops, they stop. Hmm. Yeah. I was just, yeah. That was what so, I got to try to Elwin. So, that's so, uh, so Elwin, okay. So I'll give you two things. So, since you're looking straight up at him, and um, from uh, so Nebularis and the rest of you, you guys see Damos' back as he's plumbing to the ground, holding up. Elwin, you start coming down. Um, roll a perception check. Is it weird that Damos has always been the only character who has not been able to ever fly? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ellen. So you see, as it's coming down, um, you see um, tricks number two with us. I guess they're all in front of him right now. Move its hands, and and um, and 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 you see, you see, it's the only one that's in its in its uh, that's there, and you catch a glimpse of it taking its hand. And moving, uh, moving them in what you recognize to be a somatic casting of a spell. Counter spell. Um. Do it, counter. Um, so, so you, so, so, so you have, so you have your reaction here, okay? You have a reaction. Yeah. You can only use your re one, one reaction. Counter. Yeah. So, um, you gotta, you gotta decide. I mean, how, how, how high is? 
how high is that is is that number two because eight is eighty feet up so if it's within range eight is, can you count can't no you guys can't see it is they're all in front of Deimos. they're in front of Deimos' oh. body yeah, yeah, Ellen is the only one who has advantage on it you got this Deimos. I'm gonna counter stuff yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you just start hearing right. just like blaring American music as I'm falling to the ground. Roll, Give roll your intelligence check, Ellen. Uh, Do you charisma. wanna spark this? Oh yeah, charisma, charisma. I wanna be out of sparks, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> um, so... Uh, as we're okay. doing this... Is he getting uh -huh. away? Hold on a I second would, here. Is it? Please don't get away. Just want to check oh, the. Okay. okay. I'm just checking the spell real quick. Okay. I mean, so you recognize a misty step when you see it. Um. But you are able to, to intervene. The look on on the the imp's face goes from one of deviousness and the sinisterness to one of shock, Elwyn, oh, as you summon all your arcane strength and and interrupt his his misty step spell. Alright. And then like Demos Yeah. Use my guided strike and spark it. As we hit the ground to make the most gas damn epic, is body slamming. So times two body slamming these mother truckers. Yeah, they slam into the ground. You all slam into the ground. Um. <laughs> but I got it strikes to be very pinpoint accurate, and I will spark it for maximum body what, what, what damage. Is, what does guided strike say? It just it gives me a plus ten to hit. <laughs> So, so the, the whole pile, the whole pile of of Trixes and and Deimos comes sl come slamming down to the ground like a meteor. El, when you you interrupt the counter spell, uh, you counter spell the um the miss the teleport attempt, and they smash into the ground with a resounding splat. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> it's okay. So so um, physics work differently in Elysium. Oh shit! Yay! Nice. <laughs> How much damage is <laughs> are we getting? Alright, so, so it's fifty d six. That's what I like. Woohoo! Now, oh, that's not that much. I that's what I thought. And double. Since I sparked in double, does it do double damage? Mm -hmm. Um. D6s are always pretty tame. I mean, you guys are, are level 20, and this is Elysium. Elysium has enhanced, um, so you know how, um, you know, like on in, um, on Earth, there's like something like a terminal velocity. You can only accelerate so far before wind resistance um, counterbalances the pull of gravity. That's like maximum velocity. Um, there's a there's a, a unique physics um, aspect of Elysium that it's the opposite. <laughs> oh, or so, so we'll roll really higher. About. Way oh my god! <laughs> yeah, this is the roll. All right, there we go. Nice. So ooh, they take. They're D12s now. Six hundred and four damage each. As Deimos okay. is, is technically still alive. Hopefully, maybe. All right. You guys slam into the ground, and Deimos, as you as you impact, there the a resounding splat happens. It's not even a boom. It's a splat, right? As um. Demon goop and Icor just just get sprayed across the ground everywhere. Um, the um, the illusions begin to disappear one by one, just shuddering. They take a a, sh a half step forward and then vanish into into nothingness. He's a most an illusion bender. I can't feel my okay. arms or my face. Oh my Everything God. is sore. 
and I don't know if I can move. Is, is there a corpse for the little man at all down there? Oh, oh, absolutely not. I mean, he's been he's been he's been smeared into the ground. You, you, um, there is there is there is a pile of gore. <laughs> I will like okay, that's, 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 that's like over. spread yeah. that's spread over a um that's spread over a surface area probably you know fifty foot radius. That's that's enough. <laughs> I want to try to learn little man's form. I'm gonna run up to Deimos, and I'm gonna grab a chimichanga from his pocket and rub it all over his face and his arms because he said they were. Aaron, hurt. I'm. All right. Hey, Adis, roll, roll intelligence. Dude, actually, wait, wait. I want to do a deception check on the DM to see to make sure he thinks he may have killed me, but I'm still technically he believes me. <laughs> Is it intelligence or Arcana? I can't remember. I think it was. Shit. Guys. It's the same modifier, isn't it? Uh, no, because it intelligence doesn't add proficiency. All right, let's look it up. Let's look it up. Oh, so right. I'm, not, I'm not trying to be weird, but we should like, burn this shit out of um, oh, these remains. I don't trust anything. And I start sacred flaming shit as I'm crawling around the ground. <laughs> Kill yeah, all the specify. team So, either or. Um, make it intelligence. Okay. Probably not. Okay. Um, not quite good enough. Alright, let's worth a try. I, I go back to Braunschweig to fill form and start healing everybody again. Alright, I keep doing okay. the shit out of, like, the bloody remains I see on the ground as I'm, like, Because <laughs> I don't yeah, so the tree, the tree, the tree on the, off in the corner has burned down. Um, now, um, let's see here. Okay, so. In the in the interim, several other trees caught fire. Uh, put the tire trees out. Can I use the little control fire thingy? Oh, if, if that's the case, I'm I'm an ancient silver dragon. I'll just cold breath them. <laughs> there you go. I can control flames okay. and put them out. Well, I'll cold actually, breath I don't the know. area above them so that they actually, don't fall upon them. This was the fire caused by Owen's flame belts, right? Yeah. That's a magical fire. I can't put that out. <laughs> fire hurts. So, okay, so so the, the things are on fire. Um, the 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 demon has been splattered across the surface of this of this 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 whole area. Um, the the illusions disappear and the runes begin to uh, are are deactivated. Um, you gather that he was, you know, basically a, a highly motivated and highly advanced imp. But he was still an imp, so he wasn't on the <laughs> level of Tabubo or, or or anyone else. Yes. He's just super I figured tricky. He was going to. He was an imp, and he wasn't actually really that strong. Or he was super freaking strong, and we'd never kill him. And two, he would never keep any deal he made. So I was like, nope, 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 no deal, nope. No, nope. that's that's why we were gonna. That's why I was gonna do a contract with him because then he's soul bound to abide by it. There's no unbreakable vows in this realm. <clears throat> That's why you put so. What are you guys doing? In the contract. I I heal the angel. Um, that you like, can't see. I'm just healing everybody. Okay. Ooh, that's a big heal. So. Nice. All right. Over time, so, my satellizer will heal everybody. Satellizer um begins to awaken. She becomes uh, you can see the wounds in her her neck begin to um to seal up. Um, now she's been chained to this thing and basically been this, this, this imp's slave and um, power source for for several years now. Um, she's greatly weakened, uh, worse so than than um, Cyrene or Altruus ever were. Um, so I, I will look towards Achilles oh. and and just ask her, um, do you do you know any way to bring her back from what she has suffered? A little greater restoration of something help. She she looks at you all and she says, "Oh, um, I have a few oh, more uh, charges of my uh, shield left, so I'll spread those to the angel side. I have one, I have three, and I'll put the angel down on the opposite side of the demon splitter. <laughs> yeah, so okay. um, yeah, so I'm pretty much charging a good fifteen points of like or whatever super shield healing into it. Okay. Finally got his healed. Okay. I, you should take back some spell levels. Spell yeah, levels, and do spell levels. I've healed everybody, so yeah. 
I do is how's the angel doing though? Yeah, I I'll have um gotten her up to max over time, so it'll be fine. Alright. So Physically uh, she's back. Um as far as recouping her strength, she's been yeah, being, that's she's issue. been drained for a long time. So right. Akelia steps forward. Her I'm still weary her herself. Her. Okay. Still weary herself, she says. This poor dear she um, she 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 bends down and she looks at her. And she says, um, "She's been through so much. Uh, I I'm not a specialist in healing. Cyrene may be able to help her, but if we were to to bring her away from this place, the the vigil would be undefended. We, we I think some of us should Cyrene. stay here. We can." And didn't she mention something about a passage or some way to communicate through the vigil? She did. You would have to unlock, you would have to achieve the blessing of of the this gatekeeper in order to have access to Tyr's vigil. Do we all, as one, look towards Deimos? Hey, what's happening? You, know, guys, you need to ask the pretty angel for permission to use the the gate. She's like way older than you. It's kind of weird calling an older woman like that pretty, but I respect what you're going with. Um, hey, Miss Angel Lady, my name is Demos. You've probably heard of me. I mean, Tear's a good friend of Demos. Demos, good friend of Tear. We actually just talked not that long ago. Uh, is it cool if we use your communication device? The angel turns to you, um, and um, weariness in her eyes. She, uh, you see a hint of a smile come to her face, and she's quite, she's quite beautiful. And and she says to you, um, she says to you, um, yeah, I'll help you if I can. Hold on, I'm checking. <laughs> Please don't take the best one. Don't take no tickets. Don't take the best one. That was it. Don't change it. That was awesome. That was fucking epic. That was the best thing ever. I just rolled on my bed. That was strange. Yeah, I'll help you. Thanks, man. I mean, girl. What exactly Angel. do you need, huh? <laughs> hey, your communication device and your, um, your, your, you know, your thing there, pretty lady. To talk to Cyrene. Yeah, that one. I just, you have more manly voice than me. Teach me your ways. <laughs> she looks at you and she says, Yeah, 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 give me a second here. Hold on. And, um, you see it. <laughs> just from, like, Brooklyn or something. I don't know. <laughs> you see, you see her focus for a little bit, and she, and she she reaches out, Damos, and she touches you on on the on the on the chest, and um you can feel the vigil it um begin to to resonate, and as it does, it um it seems to attune itself to you, and you all are are able to to it, it's similar to the the feeling that you got when the when Altruis and Cyrene opened the um, Torm's vigil and made it available to you all. And as that happens, you realize that the vigils they they do similar things, and that they are all are all gateways towards um, being able to view the 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 material planes. Um, but they're also interconnected with each other. Um, you can see through them to the other vigil point. Um, and you realize that you could, in fact, travel through them to to the other vigil point if you so wished. But we need permission, right? Or uh, can she's we? Given she's given it. She's she's open. No, no, I mean she's opened up the. Tempest. Yes, yes. You can't. You, you can't go to the third. Okay. Can we, is it like a portal we can stick our head through? Or is it just like an instant poof? You're there. Oh, well, you haven't traveled through it yet. Demos. Mm. Um, who was the angel you suggested going and getting Ellen? Cyrene. 
Yeah, Damos, you want to walk through and go get an S Shireen to come through with you to help out your lady friend here? Or at least, like, you know, stick half of her body through and then do her stuff and then go back through. Yeah, it's work with Hank and S Shireen. I'm walking through this portal and to help you join over there, Shireen. Because I have to do this portal now. Um, if you're any better, uh, you know, you can absorb by a gigantic demon. It's kind of a bitch. Uh, but uh, we got a, we got we got another range with over here. We're like repopulating Elysia. We're literally at like double what we were at like two days ago. We're like two days ago. Good job. Okay. So are you trying to bring Cyrene here, or are you trying to go back there? Uh, I guess, kind of like, are we allowed to? Is it, can we go both ways in this thing? Yes. Does this work? Okay. I will try to go over there and talk to her to get her to come back over here to help as much as he can with a newly another newly recovered angel. Okay. So on the other side of the vigil, um, Deimos, you emerge, and Cyrene is there um, with Altruis. Um, in the time, it's been several days since you left, since you left, and Cyrene looks much recovered. Um, there's a vitality that's returned to her. Um, a a life that's even in the in the in the you know the down of her wings. Um, there's a there's a, a sheen that's, that's that's recovering to her. So you can tell that she's she's quite a bit stronger than the last time you saw her. Oh, she really says, happy you better. "Gratitude. Yeah, it has been a bit of time, but I feel my strength returning to me." That's amazing, and I. So I'm super happy for you and your brother and everything, but you're like the first one we think of of calling. Of uh, we got ourselves another angel um, from Tears uh, place, and uh, uh, well, she was locked up getting fed on. But we think that you're good at healing stuff, and if there's a way you could like help us with this, it'd be super fantastic. We have to all that thing. We can go back and forth now. It seems you have gained the blessing of the Guardian of Tears Vigil. Is Satellizer well? Uh, she's a little weak. That's the one we need you to go help fix up a little bit. Uh, I think something happened to her vocal cords. I'm not 100% sure. She sounds great, though. I called through the portal thingy. I read on Renly. Serene pauses. She said that the other one's the best Vigil Guardian. I Did mean, she... she's just so amazing. <laughs> it's hard to compare. I think she said something about trying to get with your brother, though, which was kind of weird. <laughs> Satellite is a being of great talents. She, she can be a bit of a bitch, but... <gasps> <gasps> We've taught you well. Oh my god. <laughs> I will return with you to help her recover. Very good. Alright. So, so on the other side, you guys see Deimos and Cyrene stepping out of the vigil. Um, it's not, not, not... A portal doesn't even open, like a dimension door or a, an arcane gate, nothing like that. Um, it's just like the the matter the material of the crystal itself just gives way and and flowing out from it are are Cyrene and Deimos, and Cyrene goes up to Satellizer and says, "Satellizer, darling, I am glad you are well. Come now and feel the healing balm of Tom." Yeah, yeah, thanks. I appreciate it. Oh, um, so much oh drama in this <laughs> So Cyrene <laughs> reaches over it and she begins to heal a satellizer. Um, some time goes by and you can see the light returning to satellizer. And um, her 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 wings and her hair and her halo becoming vibrant. Um, at, so you know a few hours go by. In that time. Um, um, you know, just, just you guys are able to rest. You're able to get your, your short rest. Um, fairly uneventful. A couple of small demons um, swing by or, or, or come near the area. You can tell that they had been used to to um, so so 
tricks the 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 imp that was here before was what had you know had established his his domain in here so um there were several packs that were loyal to him several um one of them had sought to return um but when they sensed the difference they 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 didn't they you know they were some ways away you saw several of them glaring at you um large and hideous creatures uh, you know a, 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 just a roving band but they don't dare approach while the angels are present and while the power of the vigils is is back to its strength so they quickly just um backed off and turned away just to fuck you up little gains stick your face in there stick it out uh, backwards do they ever get within um, a thousand feet no no the, um within a thousand yeah yeah within a thousand right, right on the edge of a thousand sure I'll take some some of them's heads off just for fun with your um your stellar flare breath or something? Yeah. The gravity breath. I'll create a black hole on top of a couple of them just for fun. Okay. Yeah. You see. You see. <laughs> so a couple of their forms just flop over, and the rest just just like just tear off into the into the distance. Um. So some time goes by. Satellizer recovers. Cyrene offers to you. She says, "I have regained enough of my strength to offer you some healing." How would you wish I aid you? If you could get rid of these infernal curses we all have, that would be stellar. I'm cursed as shit. Honestly. Curses and sparrow slides and... You know, just the deal. You know us, we're really good at getting really messed up really fast. But we took out another then big guy. Be the case. Cyrene kind of looks around and says, I see no evidence of this. Wait, no, seriously. Look at, uh, I'm covered in blood right now. She looks at you. Th you know, there's a few splatters of blood. Oh, freaking imp guy was insane. An imp? Uh, <laughs> small creatures. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Satellizer had a hard time with it, and we saved Satellizer from the imp. Tell me, if a big did this imp... getting raved? Yeah. Did this imp <laughs> cause you much trouble? I mean, it had Satellizer <laughs> locked down, and we came in, and it made a gigantic illusion, boys. And then it made five things, and then we had to skyrocket to the sky, and I body slammed it. So you found yourself consumed by illusions and an imp? It took... Wait, no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that um, it was uh, just a mean person and it cursed me a lot. And I'm like, stop cursing me. And then it was just like, not today. And I'm like, stop it, stop it, stop it. And it was like, curse, 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 curse. I blocked away like three of them, but I'm no ninja. And you know how that works. I, I elbow Elvin and I'm like, save your boy, save your boy. You it's drowning, you choking. I'm drowning here. I'm trying to help, but I mean, you, you know we're kind of toughish. We took out that guy that you were sucked into. Normally, it's a was problem a... for Demos. I'm gonna say. Oh, on. oh, uh, Tyr said that this guy was the second best deceiver in all of hell. Serene. I wasn't fooled she by the illusions. You. Like Deimos was. As I would expect. Um, she, she turns to you, Deimos, and she says, Well, I will I aid you, you in recovering from your imp hey, you know war what? battle wounds. We summoned Tyr, and, and Tyr talked to us and told us how he was a really tough guy. That was another illusion. No, yeah, I said Tyr said Demos said that Tyr said that he that this imp was what was it? The the, he was the second best deceiver. There was one more that's bigger and it says it has the scent of something on it and it didn't disappear like a big old jerk. You talked we to a god long dead? Yeah, he's giving me his memories right now, they're getting downloaded. 
I see. Well, I will do my best to aid you. She reaches over and she puts her hands on your head, Deimos. And one, one hand on each side and she closes her eyes and can feel warmth just kind of stirring through your head. And she says, Hmm. I sense no curses, no delusion, no spells of confusion. No. Oh, shit. I can clearly see that in my character sheet. I'm afraid whatever ails you, mortal, is beyond my ability to correct. Uh, to go but I will then. remove... I will remove this taint upon your form. And your curses drop away? That's what I see. Thank you, that's what I needed. I just... I suppose that's it. I swear, this was a tough imp. It was a real tough imp. I mean, he... He, he, yes. turned that, he, he, pinned, he pinned down your future sister-in-law. I'm sure he was a, a truly monstrous imp. Right, he was only one of great face. strength and danger. The danger, yes. Strength, not so much. Can I inspect sure, that to yes. make sure that she's she to double check that she's pacifying Deimos? I am so confused. <laughs> <laughs> is she about to pass his head? She, 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 she pats she pats she pats she, she pats you on the head, Deimos. She says. You did well, Deimos. Very, very well. <laughs> I give you a thumbs up, buddy. Oh, I'm just gonna walk away over here. No one understands my imp problems. Do you roll up to the corner and, like, shake back and forth? <laughs> I'm just saying, gosh dang imp, had an archangel pin down, but no. No, but it's, 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 it's fine. It's cool. Oh, let's pull down the power of a god. Oh, that's fine. Oh, that's a big deal. Oh, no, it's not, Mr. Deimos. It's a huge little imp problem. Meh, meh, meh. Okay. So, um, Cyrene is going to go like this. <laughs> oh, that's crappy. <laughs> I can't well, You guys' luck sucks. <laughs> oh, wait. Put the Five. stacks up. So, that stacks, right? From the last one? Yeah, in addition to anything you had left over from last time, so spell slots uh, recovered. Fuck yeah. I had nothing I got, left over. Uh, I got my eighth back, baby. Yay, I get back one spell slot. Okay. Um a, a little bit a, a little bit more time goes by and then Cyrene says I must recover. This was a quite a bit quite an expenditure of strength. I must return to my brother as well. She she turns to you all uh, and she mm -hmm. and she bows and she says, "Thank you for freeing up another vision." Note to your brother. A note, okay. Uh, Still, I didn't you say that you had some note or some love letter? I mean, a note to uh, Serene's brother, correct? Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, all right? Oh, so you know what you're talking <laughs> about? It's, no, don't worry about it. I swear she's well, like Cyrene, just don't listen to this guy. I mean, he he doesn't make sense much, and you know the imp yeah, didn't really have me. I you know just you got distracted serious? and. Yeah, dear, he's gonna tie you back up here with chains. <laughs> you know what? You make seven days, and I'm gonna guess thing. Go down, freaking tear again, so we can go listen to your your your, your bunch of your baloney. Wait, does Cyrene now <laughs> believe Demos because uh, Fat Life had just denied it? <laughs> um. <laughs> Cyrene says I see well whatever the case I my gratitude for reactivating a second vigil my brother and I will be guarding ours and I will be resting satellite darling please please support these travelers they have done great and I sense the hand of fate upon them Surely they might benefit from your gifts as well. She turns to you all and she says, My gratitude. And then she turns to Akelia and she says, And Goddess, my humble service is yours always. Call upon me whenever you have need. And she walks back through the vigil. She goes back to her side of place so Deimos mm -hmm. so, so what's this imp you were talking about 
you know what? Next time, I'm just gonna walk away. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, what was this imp you're talking about? I, I, I hug Damus and I, I whisper like, "You were awesome." I just, I just do it. I do. You know what, Missy? I didn't know if you were in the same that bunch. Wait, 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 wait. Ho bunch. Hold on. Yeah. Damos, you, you're not talking about the big, like, 10 foot tall demon that had this angel all tied up, right? Dude, the thing was, like, 3 feet tall. This angel. No, that was, an, uh, that was an illusion, dude. Demon. That was an illusion. He was actually, like, he was, like, you know how when you get super big, Damos? He was, like, that big. That's how dude, big he really was. Why do you like, think what? there's such a big splatter on the ground, dude? He's, like, well, I mean, five, he's, like, what, 5 foot 11? No, he was more like twelve foot eleven. Oh, I don't get that big. That's why. That's why that splatter was so huge, dude. It's like a fifty yeah. foot splatter of guts. I mean, if you say it like that, it does actually make sense. I mean, if you say it like that, maybe it just seemed like an imp because I was so strong and powerful. And that's why the angel lady was like giving you shit because she thought that you. Oh, she didn't know that it was I a big that guy. Was because you know the serene, serene said that. Uh, that, that I whisper. This angel here is kind of a bitch sometimes. I don't know what that means, but yeah, apparently. I heard that. Yeah. Oh, I heard you talking about <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. I'm going I'm to deception wave my hand. No, you didn't. <laughs> Pop the average she, she, she looks at you and she, and she says, No, no, listen to me. Turn about to fair play. You all let me out. I'll help you out in return. You see, I happen to have some skills, some particular talents. I might be able to give you, you some strength. So, did you acquire man. them over a lifetime? Yep, yep. You know what? Particular set of skills. Cool. <laughs> I'm going to walk away from you real fast. But I was staying right here on the other side. So I, I couldn't help but no notice that you're... You're, you're really close to buck-ass naked. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty naked, and I kind of, um, I have a cape and a ring, but I'm actually in underwear. Yeah, well, if you ever needed help with that, you can come here, and I might be able to hook you up. Oh, we have so, facts of Tabubo. I, sh I waved the facts. Yeah, look at these sexy Taboobos we do. Yeah, 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 stuff like that. Stuff like that I can I could do some pretty cool shit with. So, I know you can do cool stuff, but can you do some of that cool stuff, like, now? Oh, hells yeah. Oh, cool. That'd be super, super duper, and that'd be super appreciated. What, How many do you need? What, what do you want? Two. two? Yeah, I might be able to do a little bit like that. Tell me what, what piece of, what article of no. clothing you're looking for. I might be able to fashion something together. Did, did uh, um, you know, Tyr... Happened to leave one of his loyal, faithful servants who he likes so much, uh, Deimos, um, a uh, suit of armor he may need. A cape! No, no, a toga. A no, a toga. new diaper. Or a new diaper. Or maybe an imp no. thong. Loincloth! Loincloth! No, that... Loincloth! That's Everything's gotta be fashion fresh. Can I get like All the energy, all the divine power in this area was, was drained away. Yeah. So I gotta fashion everything fresh. Well, oh, if you get well, any more materials for me, I might be able to do more, but I think I might be able to start with these two sacks. These two flesh like, sacks you got here. I rip some of the wipe some of the blood off. How about like almost a vial of blood of this imp that quote unquote did not exist? Hmm. Imp blood. Yeah, I can sprinkle it's, it in there. It's super strong imp oh yes, damn it. Oh yes, yes, damn it. Don't don't imp at us that just Rick words, you know, I don't know what was eating you for a while, but you know what? You know what? It's fine. It's cool. You know, I'm not quite sure what it was either, but I'll try. Yeah, leave the stuff with me for a bit. I'll come back when, you know, in uh, several days, I'll I'll have something figured out. Cool. Do you have any other angels that you know about that you could help? That would help you? You know what? The last few years are like a blur to me. Don't remember much. <laughs> can we give me long rest yeah you know and and do you sing lullabies because i think i'll go right off to sleep with you with you uh yeah, i've never felt safe a singer <laughs> Jeff. 
She pauses for a Hello, second. Jeff. And she says, <laughs> Did you go to the same bard school as I did? She, uh, she, she, she looks at you very curiously. She says, You stay here one night. One night, and you don't cuddle with me. I, <laughs> I actually think I have a perfect guy for you. His name is Vork. I think you guys would get along perfectly fine. No, there ain't been no no man in no world that I've seen that would be impressive to me. <laughs> he ain't no man. He's a backpack, actually. Color me intrigued. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send him your way when I find him again. He, he has the odd thing of just never being dead. We're we're headed to the Bacon Luminoff Luminar Luminary. Yeah. Uh, did you need anything from there? We're going to. Uh, check stuff out. Check stuff out. You want to look up the mountain? And is that what you're saying to me? Yeah, and and Tempest is vigil. Hmm. Yeah, just be careful about that. The up the mountain, you might see things you don't want to see. And uh, uh, Tempest is vigil. You know that had gone dark long before I was even. Before anything even happened here, um, Tempest is still alive. If he, yeah, yeah, huh? he's got your virus. He's still alive. Yeah, yeah, he's alive. Just like uh, Tears, still alive. You know, that's what we like to sell ourselves. Hey, so, um, Missy, 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 hey, you know for a fact that Tempest is still around. Look at my divine powers. Yeah, fancy. They're from Tempest. Yeah. Sure. Okay. I swear, lady, if you think you're not from Tempest, where do you think you're from? You know, I don't make those decisions. I'm just an angel. I don't oh, just... mess with the gods. I just try to hold this shit together here. Okay. Well, Tempest is alive. He likes, uh, you know, doing good things. And, uh, you know what? It's fine. It's cool. I mean, I talk to Tem Tempest. I'll be like, hey, you know what? Tempest, I'm happy you're alive and well-being. And he'll be like, oh, thanks, Demos, my friend. Yeah, you do that. Well, I'm going to rest a little bit. Then I'm going to start working on this this stuff you've given me and see if I can fashion together something that's right. uh, worth using. Uh, you guys get your rest, too. Yeah, don't try to and cuddle me. Yeah, yeah. No, no, that won't be happening. Thank goodness. I mean, you guys stay away from me too. I mean, I know that this that this 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 beautiful body also houses a beautiful mind, but mm -hmm. and it might be tempta tempting to you, but yeah, you stay away from stay away from me. Man. Can I summon Vork as a miracle? <laughs> <laughs> oh, miracles meant for matchmaking, yes. That would be that would be fucking epic if you did that. <laughs> I feel like it's worth it. Like, you know, like, use your miracle for like, work, it'll this, always pay dividends. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, like my kinda plan now is like so we got this teleport stone, we got a pure and in stone, we get to Tempest this place, you know, maybe we get this all together, we can finagle our way through to accidentally <laughs> summoning Vork in. And just pissing them off. Like this is it's gonna be a very good Elysium trip. Our, our end oh, goal oh, is oh. not to climb the mountain, but to get Vork. I agree. To get Vork, I yeah. agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. And Deimos, you can take it one step forward, and when you get him here, you can tell him he's died and gone to heaven. I mean, like Vork, look, you died and went to heaven, and, and all your friends dead. Like us are here with you. He'd be like, oh shit, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you stuck with us for eternity. Yeah, you were dead for eternity. <laughs> all right, all right. So next week, um, so she's gonna be working on your, um, on crafting you something from the the pieces of demon, demon slain demons that you've given to her. Um, Tears Vigil is unlocked to you. Um, next week, you can decide where you want to go. Oh, uh, I do suggest that they must give her all the dildos he's collected so far for you towards whatever item she's creating. Those are back on the material plane. I thought you started collecting them oh, again. I did. I have you one. You did. I didn't write it down, though. The first Baylor we found. We That's right. Yeah, it's right. at the right bottom of, of your backpack. I can smell it. Give it to yeah. her. <laughs> hey, G, you just can see it. I give it to her. Okay. <laughs> 
All right. Oh, so I have a third toe, a third left toe of that uh, Halloween demon. Dude, <laughs> okay. I don't know what you want with this, but it's a toe. All right. So you take a toe, oof. the the Baylor penis, and the two sacks of of, of flesh and from and blood. Yeah, and from blood of and this quote unquote super imp that they don't believe me in. <laughs> A high tier, you know, super evolved, transcendent being him that we kill. Okay, um, as you as you start turning away uh, and and you start resting, um, Achelia says, uh, "Uncle Demos, I, I believe you." Thanks, Achelia. That means a lot coming from you. You know, that imp was actually kind of a pain in the ass. Yes, I, I can understand how he would be. He did have. A certain way with the arcane arts. You you all couldn't necessarily see them, but what he had done here was rather impressive, even for for one such as myself. He had a certain creativity to him, um, the way he weaved the, the enchantments and the illusions together. Given me some ideas he has, but that's that's for another time. Sweet. Good. Good night, everybody. Demos is gonna go to bed. And then Trix just appears on Demos's shoulder and goes, Yep, they're pretty cool, aren't they? Yep, All right, yeah, buddy. I'm gonna go right. to bed. <laughs> Toast you, baby, Trix. All right. Ma major illusion, Trix, his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. So I'll catch you all next week. Yep. Thanks for running again. Definitely. Super cool. Uh, yeah. That was the best NPC ever. <laughs> I don't know. I still think Fork's number one. No. And I'm giving Quigley number two. Not She's anymore. like number three. Vork's not number one anymore. No, Vork, Vork is <laughs> always... Vork, Vork by was... planes. When Vork comes here, we'll have a decision-making <laughs> thing. Find out, I like... this plane, the best. Can we no, somehow like, get Vork to like, ascend to godhood somehow? He's the best backpack. Mundane equipment. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he'll be of like carry. He'll be the god of carrying sex or something. Yeah, <laughs> god of carry sex, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll see you guys. Thanks again for running. Yep. Take care, guys. See you next week. That was awesome.